Jones. Look, it ain't about who get the money first Cause my friends were dead before I heard a Uzi burn it Couple guys think your spot ain't really up for grabs Till I ride up on that ass like a yellow cab I could read between the lines, know this hate involved Guess you was waiting for the frustration to evolve But I won't speak about it much cause ain't too much to touch Imagine the game with me and you was really You not my man, you not my man, you're a genius I need to know what is good everybody so i have to get a soundboard of people clapping and applauding and all that shit because this is episode fucking 10 <laughs> of the not your man's podcast 10 fucking episodes that's an accolade someone send us money the paypal is not your man's at gmail.com send us free money if that makes sense. <laughs> I'm John D. Contradiction. I am your humble, humble host. And these are my other hosts. Introduce yourself, guys. It's, it's Waco, bitch. <laughs> I need a beat for when you say that. Something hard. <laughs> I'm mm. Mm, more. You gotta give me John Cena's intro music. Hi, man. I have it. It's don't Waco, bitch. Burr, burr, burr. Not this week. Yeah, exactly. Not this week. Not this week. No, God. no, you were good this week. But um, <laughs> fucking so this is episode 10 of the Not Your Man's podcast and you should know by now, but I'm going to repeat myself on every episode until I can't remember what episode we're on. That's even if we make it to more episodes. You can find us on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook at Not Your Man's N-O-T-Y-A-M-A-N-Z. We also have the quarterly playlist on Spotify. So follow that shit. It's also Not Your Man's. And lastly, submit us some music if you put it out this year subscribe to the podcast give us five stars we do not care if you're thaddeus fathead give us five stars oh my name okay <laughs> clout but um <laughs> what's going on guys so we're gonna start it off i think what was the last thing we did last sunday we did the Jeru to damager so we're starting at that first project which is a hot oh, not your man's oh, off rip oh, which is which is man. great this is that i love when we start our week with hot oh shit. it's like monday you know the, this is the first <laughs> cup of coffee and it's from like a gas station Dude, from someone with dirty hands at work and it totally ruined my day <laughs> there's, there, there's coffee grains on the bottom of the cup so I think this is the day that I kicked out a bunch of EPs, and it <laughs> yeah, was like you were going I listened in. to this one first, and I think it tainted every review after <laughs> that. <laughs> so this project is "Good Job You Found Me" by what do you say, Valley, 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 Valley? I don't give a fuck. Whatever. He he's working. He's a good way. music guy, and that's why if you read the project name, the good is all capitalized. God, corny. But wait, wait, wait. He said you say he's good music. I think he's good music. He was on the well, he was on the new why Kanye. Is he, why why is he missing the seventh song? Oh, no, no, no. conspiracy! No, no, no. I need the X Files. <laughs> <Wait. Exposed. laughs> <laughs> Illuminati. But yeah, this part this project uh, is pretty much summed up by Walco's first fucking sentence. This project uh, is hot, project fucking, is hot fucking buns. Fucking buns. <laughs> That's right. Hot <laughs> crust buns. This project is Whew. it's 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 like there. It made me angry. <laughs> yeah, there's no reason to even get crazy into it. It's like, all right, if if you're a fucking regular dude and you have zero swag, you probably like don't even beat off comfortably in your own home. This is the album you'd make if you decided to be a rapper. <laughs> like, this is the most regular, corny, like copy paste, but not even the good stuff bullshit you could put out. Man, this is it's it's whack. Pusha T gave him a weak ass verse. Oh, it was trash. I was so he didn't even try. It was the only thing I was looking forward to. Oh, my goodness. Was, he was literally he just like cocaine. Yeah. 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 That's the verse. It's like, it's trash. Like, we're not even going to give this guy any shine. He's probably getting shine because his name is somewhere oh. on that Kanye project. But, anyways, let's I get mean, to some I real. Mean, like only, double emoji oh, bandit. only, only has six songs. Oh, yeah. Trash. Like, designer got a seven song. It was short designer got a seventh song like come on bro step it up also got a not not our man's trash 
But let's get to some real fucking raps. I got the next project is fucking Dark Arts of the Iron Age by the Fraternity. Holy okay. shit. <laughs> First off, look at the album art. That shit tells it you it's going like to be it business. Should be on SoundCloud. <laughs> no. It wasn't on SoundCloud. This it's is on streaming. On this is album. streaming. Yeah, this is this was it is, not on SoundCloud. This no, is on everything. It's on everything on Airtime. Airtime. Oh, true. My bad. Yeah, we ain't at SoundCloud Saturdays, bro. We on Monday, bro. Mm -hmm. But My bad. <laughs> <laughs> this project was fucking raps. Like honestly, like people could get mad or whatever because I know no one likes to compare anything to the almighty Wu Tang. But these dudes had a Wu Tang format. It's a bunch of dope rappers that decided to get wow. on a bunch of dope instrumentals and rap their yeah, fucking asses off. That's it, and it's got um, it's got I some people like we the, reviewed. The, the, mm -hmm. Yeah, the first project, the, like the first track, they were like, you know, there's no hooks, like we're here to rap. Like, oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Shit. Like oh man. It, it <laughs> Buckle was, up. Was, yeah. Like, oh yeah. Exactly. Put that seatbelt on. They said some real shit. You know, it was something out, out of this world. Oh, it's nuts. You know? And it's got a, it's got a, for a group effort as well. You know. Yeah. It's got the, these dudes, honestly, I've been, so when we first started doing reviews, one project that we did that was, um, gave to us was this, uh, this dude, Loose Logic. So this dude, Loose Logic, that project Forever was dope. Love. Yeah, he, he always shows love. And his project was dope. But like, he, he was like, you should check this out. This is a group of people I work with. And I'm like, damn, you work with these dudes too. But he also works with that self savior dude. And I'm like, yo, this is a nice little clique of people that are putting out good fucking hip hop. Like, I got my eye on their whole team. Except I can't give you all Bars. their names because I told him I was like, bro, there was too many people on this, so can you just tag it, everyone? It, it, it was like the 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 English project that we did, the guys from England. Oh, that that one was nuts. They had the whole <laughs> squad. The yeah, damned. Like, what was it? Um, something uh, of the damned. Yeah, cult of the damned. Cult of the damned. Jesus. Nah, but these dudes, he tagged a bunch, and a lot of them. I'm gonna give you guys a hard time. Some of your t handles are trash. Like I don't want to see numbers. <laughs> And weird stuff in your handles. Come on now. One handle though is just shadow. How did you get that? Ha ha, sway. This is first one on Instagram. <laughs> like one of them sleep five one three Jake Case four five six. Come on, bro. Get get some good stuff. Loose logics is the loose underscore shit. logic, and it's great. Like it's, I found you. I know where you are. But um, project is fucking fire. If you like raps back to back shit, like only thing this thing needed is more sword sounds and taiga styles going on in the background, <laughs> and it would have been fucking perfect. But um, project's dope, man. The fraternity, fuck with them. I'm ready for another project. I also might want to, you know, jump on it. But that's, you know, let them hit me. They could hit me <laughs> up. Because like, yeah. <laughs> I will try. <laughs> but um, so the next project is. I, is this the first one reviewed Wakanda. from our Wakanda? Yeah, our Wakandan brothers. <laughs> <laughs> so this Wakanda project. <laughs> this was a uh, wait. This one was from Wakanda. Yeah, yeah. this is um. This is do not disturb wow, by Zuki Coke Dope. Zuki Coke Dope. It was wavy. It was so wavy. <laughs> I was impressed. It was. You know what's crazy? So one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do not disturb by Zuki Coke Dope. So one thing that like really impressed me. One, these dudes are from like Africa. Some kid was just like, "Yo, South Africa, we fuck with you guys. I'm gonna send you a bunch of projects to review, and we 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 all split them up." And this project, it, <laughs> the shit that like the New Agers out here love, and that like we rip people apart for because they're putting out lazy garbage. This is it right. what it should sound like. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This is like the dope side of it. This is the side of it that like fucking old school hip hop rapidy rap heads would like. Like this project like was it. way I as fuck. It was good. Yeah. And there, it was clear. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I was expecting. He was, like, he was, he was barring a little bit too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it was, was a good time. Yeah. Was, Wakanda forever. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, you know, I'm like, I'm an uncultured American. So I was expecting, I don't know what the fuck I was expecting, but like I was impressed. I, know, I, no, no, no. We, we I listened to it with an open it. mind. I had no idea. I went into it. I went into it full on, like America racism. Like I'm just like, yo, there's gonna be clicks <laughs> and pops all over uh, this shit. Chill, 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 chill. I'm too late. <laughs> yeah, right. Calm down. I'm Haitian. All right, I can say what I want. Yeah, you, you, you're good. I got the complexion <laughs> of protection. Oh, Shout out to Tony for telling me that, by the way. Wilco so just work. fucked me up. <laughs> he saw always say that to me. He'd be like, you got the, the complexion of protection, bro. <laughs> that's a sound bite. Oh, man, that's fantastic. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm fucking tearing. Oh, man. So, 
Walko with the bars is Walko, bitch. The <laughs> next project we got was, uh, oh man, I fucked up with the spelling. So it's who we're going to have as a special guest later on in this episode. It's Kuda High Dope Boy 2 by any means, not any means, even though it's spelled with that big capital A, it's any, any means, like any means necessary, you know what I'm saying? This project is hip hop as fuck. Solid as shit. This, this dude, Good. he's Good working. He's working. So this dude, just to give a little backstory, so we reviewed, um, I reviewed a fucking Riff Raff project, that last one that came out this year, a couple of weeks ago, and it was hot garbage, it was fucking trash. And it had a song with this dude featured on it. And I was like, bro, uh, like, you know, I gave the song like a dumpster juice. But this dude commented like, yo, I thought my verse was fire on there. And I'm just like, you know what? The song was so bad. I didn't really catch it. And then when I listened to it, I'm like, oh, you know what? It wasn't that bad. So he was just like, yo, I, I was, I'm like, you got any projects? So he sent me part one of this. And I was like, fuck. All right. This dude's kind of dope. And then he, you know, gave us a little exclusive, exclusive, exclusive to part two. And sure enough. It's it's fire. <laughs> it's, it sure is. It's fire. It's That's fire. It. It's, it's, consistent. Consistent. it's consistent. It's got a nice Troy. What do you say? Five, you five, five, five projects in the last 15 months? What happened? That he said he released five projects oh, in the yeah. last fifteen months, right? which is which is one that's crazy. Don't put don't put your project release calendar in like baby age. Nope. Just just say a year and change. You know, year plus. <laughs> but yeah. Five projects wow. is a lot, but you know, honestly, five projects doesn't sound like a lot when you've spoken to Napoleon the Legend. So I was just gonna say that too. Though. I was gonna <laughs> be like, but Napoleon oh, the Legend did, but he put out fucking how many? It was. Yeah, he's got one coming out like, next week. He's literally year, got one right? coming so out next week. No, he's at six right now, so he's about to have seven yeah. out. And since that, 2018 started, that fucking project though. That's six oh, months. Oh yeah. The, oh yeah. What are we doing with that one? Are we? Should we? If it's Friday, you want to get? We can give him a Friday spot. I'll give him a Friday spot. So yeah, if we do the review now, I can just get that scheduled to knock. All I right, mean, nothing's right. scheduled for Friday, so we can give him a nice Friday spot. But yeah, uh, absolutely. That, he, that deserves, he, he deserves. Yeah. a nice Friday spot. Yeah. Cause he's Not just working, but yeah, he's getting love and like, we're not even like talking about, but <laughs> so <laughs> there's this project. So Kuda high, Kuda he, Kuda high. I don't know. Kuda, I spelled it wrong. If you guys look at, if you guys look at the post, I forgot the why. He said I'm a, I'm it, he a, said it in the interview. So he said what? He that I forgot it. Oh, how however you say he it? said oh. it in the interview. Yeah, well, the interview that, you know, didn't happen yet. Walk on. Oh, it's. <laughs> but uh yeah sp- either way i spelt it wrong because that's that's just how i live my life but um the next project was one was uh nine one the word nine one by this dude retro this project kind of fucked me this up. shit was this shit was he was sliding <laughs> dude it picks so a lot of projects for me like if it starts off boring i'm probably gonna hate the rest of it but this Absolutely. project started off just like okay and then it started getting wavy and then it just started getting fire. I'm like, what the fuck is yeah, going on? Yeah, he was spitting. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is progression. Spin. This is progression. Dude, now. he... Yeah, it, dude, real progression. And it's 17 tracks, and I thought I would be fucking pissed, but I, I started to love it. Like, to the part point where the second time I listened to it, I'm like, yeah, this is a solid fucking project. This is dope. It should have been two separate releases, honestly. But I think, honestly, if it was split in two, it probably would have been, like, two sevens. Oh... No. no, I think it was. No, actually, it would have been like one I think seven. It was a solid project. I think it would have been one seven and then one like nine. Because like, look I, at the, look at from track ten on. It's just like thumbs up, fire, 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 fire. fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was having a good time, but this project fucked me up. Like a lot of projects don't wake me up after, and it did. He started. He did it all. He started rapping. <laughs> <laughs> Walko's favorite fucking childish project. I hated it. I was disappointed. I was expecting rap. Slander. (laughs) So let's move on. We got the next project was 2020 by Spins. (laughs) I like. I would not have. He's lucky you reviewed this because I would not have reviewed this check. It got a six point five on me. Zero checks given. It got a 6.5 on me. I think by. half of it was okay because it had like, you know, some of it, there was some, like <laughs> some bad. There was some bad. You only gave him bonus points so he didn't get a pumpkin. No, oh. man. I'm not, I'm, I'm not afraid of the pumpkin. You're I like giving the pumpkin. Slander. I like giving the pumpkin, though. I'm not afraid of the pumpkin. But, no, like, I look at it. it. I think I nah. think it's I think it's like you a, I think a, it's a sim- sim- symmetry thing because, like, oh. it's like, to me, it's like it has, 
it has a few trashes and has a, a few okays, but it has a lot of it thumbs has a few ups. Trashes. Okay, you're telling me if you're listening to an album, the second album, the second song comes up into dumpster, you're gonna keep listening to it? No, you're gonna turn that shit off. And yeah, but that's over. but that's it's two songs. You can't judge a whole album. Like if that's oh, the I case, know, but you know, it's just, it's just, it, I feel like it's just a mediocre album. Yeah, it like a six and a half is giving it by like, giving it something. I think he just that's made the mark because I did like West. I thought that track was actually no, good. Was I thought, four. what the fuck up? Really? Oh, I like. I thought that track yeah. was good. And then the- I, it was uh, his shit was fucking corny, dude. <laughs> I'm be honest. Okay, all right. And I wrote like his stuff is hit or miss, but sometimes I do like some of that old school like angry white guy rap. Sometimes it sometimes it works for me. I mean, it was people I affiliate know, with are like that, you know. <laughs> I hate to do. I hate to do this. Oh shit! But yes. I feel like he's doing what Eminem is doing wrong. <laughs> And he's also doing it wrong. <laughs> like, yes, I get it. You can, you can rap super technically. You can super, you can rap super technically. That's great. But if I can't fucking listen to the song because you're just like all over the place, I'm not. I'm like the skip. You can hit. You can skip button. Sorry. Okay, Miss fair enough. With, I can accept that. Miss me with that bullshit. I can accept that. Hey, man, spins more more love to you. You got lucky. You caught me on a good day. You got lucky, bro. You. <laughs> You would have caught the hand. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you'd have, you'd have got worse. Right? Yeah, you would have got, got you would have got that lyrical murder from fucking Walko. <laughs> but then you probably would have got a pumpkin, a pumpkin from I, Mark. I, dude, I swear to God, I fucking hate you. I freaking hate you. <laughs> but I hate you. <laughs> So, Never mind. <laughs> moving on, sir. The next project was Toby Lou and the Loop EP by Toby Lou. This shit was weird, but I loved it. Yeah, it was so smooth. It was, great. It was so fun. So yeah. smooth. It reminded so me so wavy. It reminded me of a. I don't know if you guys listen to Smino. Smino was fucking fire, but it reminded me of Smino Light, like light, like you know, diet Smino. Bro, this is just this 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 EP was a mood. Yeah, it really was. And the first song you gave the laughing emoji. <laughs> mm-hmm. I just thought it was funny. Yeah, I think somebody funny. asked about it. Yeah. They're like, what is that? Like, Dead Sears. Like, what does that mean? It's an emoji. That name was... an emoji. That's why we do this. It's an emoji. It's an emoji. What does a laughing emoji mean, guys? <laughs> we're, 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 we're laughing. I feel like if people funny. say it out loud, they still wouldn't get it. What does a laughing emoji mean? Uh, <laughs> Fuck yeah. yes. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, this project is smooth as hell, man. I definitely really enjoyed it because it's just, it's like you can put it on and you can, it's not that you forget it's on, but you just feel good because it's playing in the background. So it's it's a nice listen. The fucking not, album cover is misleading as shoot. I thought it was a chick. <laughs> I did too. Yeah, yeah. You confused me when you said that in the chat. I was oh, like, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. And I was like, she, because it fucks, it throws me off, man. It fucks me up. And it's and he's rollerblading too, so it's like you know a lot of dudes aren't gonna yeah. just flat out, you know. To be honest, it's not even my type of music, really. So like, if it, if somebody else had gotten, he might have gotten a better uh, a better rating, like out of the No, you, you you gave it a fair rating, honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's not it's not even the type of shit I would listen to, and I was still like, damn, this yeah, is, it's vibes. It's just a movie. Yeah, it just feels yeah, good. It was good. Yeah, it's feels it's good. It's like rollerblading music. Ah, <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, good point. <laughs> yeah, I guess even when I picture rollerblading, I picture the most different music, but I don't. I don't think I want to get into that ever on a public forum. (laughs) (laughs) Moving on. Moving (laughs) on to the next project so I can slander you. Never. So the next project is State of Terror. State of Terror 2 by Tara Parker. This Ah. project was fire. (laughs) Project was fire. He is rapping. It is clear. Quality is up there. The fucking production. I want to knock somebody out. Oh, production Mm -hmm. is fire. He's rapping his ass off. I was bobbing the whole time. Just like, it's a good time. If you don't have facial hair, it'll make your beard grow. It's one of those. (laughs) That shit bumps. (laughs) <laughs> it does, man. It just—it's a good time, man. Project is fucking. I love a good quality project. Period. You know what I'm saying? Like, when shit sounds good, it sounds good. Like, I don't know why people can yeah, it's, this compress it's, it's shit. A, it's a vibe, man. Yeah, I need to make a sound clip of like was like episode two where Phil was like, SoundCloud rappers, they take their song and they compress it into this many gigabits and then they compress it again. Compress <laughs> it again. Because <laughs> it's so true. Because like all I hear now is when I hear like shitty artist stuff, it's like the worst quality. And I'm like, that's the, always the first sign of like, this is going to be bad. skewed and shit. <laughs> like, it's so you. bad. Fucking bleep bleep phone fucking quality. 
Oh my god! But this shout project. Out to, shout, out, <laughs> shout out to the Bleep Bleeps. Oh, yeah. like Boost. Do you remember Boost? Oh, yeah, yeah, man. Like Bleep, where you at? Where you at? Yeah, there was the Bleep. No, I, had, I had the fucking Bumblebee Bleep Bleep. I, bet, I had oh, a yeah, fucking Boost mobile phone for a minute. See, I had I had the silver one. I don't know if you remember that one. Oh yeah. Like the fucking the button on the side. Yeah, I remember that. I had the fucking tactical one. It was orange <laughs> and black. Yeah, like I had the yellow, like I had the yellow black brick. one. Yeah, I had the yellow black. And it was, it was like it could get struck by lightning and be fine. <laughs> yeah, you, you could run that bitch over with a truck. I used to get then, all my and boys. Then we in show our age. Facts. <laughs> yeah, we just uh-huh. aged ourselves. So yeah. true. It's like yeah, senior year when I had knobs. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> no, but I used to, I used to get all my homies in trouble with that shit because like you couldn't really stop people from just bleep bleeping you. So I used to just talk shit like if I skip class and just start harassing them and like the teachers <laughs> would take their shit. Yeah. Just start talking shit in their park pockets. Like start yelling and cursing. But um, anyways, back to this project though. This project's fire. Oh, we man. got mad fucking, off track. Oh yeah, we're having a good time. <laughs> Yo, okay, son. Get out of here, bro. All right, yeah, bro. Yeah, you need you to know, get these. You, you need to get these. Dude, bring the ruckus, bro. I'll make a poll out <laughs> the of it. Love, yeah. The love static song. That should have been a fire. Or <laughs> maybe even a fire truck. Maybe. Damn. Yeah, that's I'll, how you feel I'll, about uh, it? Yeah, absolutely. I agree with Walker. That shit made me. That shit made me want to just punch the screen out of my. Porch. I thought it was a dope song, but I just, I guess I didn't, I didn't hit repeat on it. You know, sometimes you're like, I give something nah, a fire man, have me if like, I hit ah. repeat. <laughs> All right, start I, you breaking know, chairs and shit. I got, I'll listen to it again just, just, just to humor you guys. But if I still feel the same way, I'm putting a poll out, man. We're gonna have people vote. You gotta, you gotta like, you gotta get in your aggressive mode. You know, what I'm, I'm light skinned. It's that, that no, com- no, it's no, like you gotta, you gotta no, feel. No, a light skinned dude hey, getting hey, aggressive hey, is hey, like menstruation. What? I'm a honky. Fuck you, mean. <laughs> dude. White people they get crazy. They get angry all the time, and they do those crazy Absolutely. white people eyes, where they open them out and look sh- very straight. <laughs> My boy Lucas is one of those crazy white guys. He's that white guy that's hanging out with a bunch of people, and you go, "Oh, that dude is crazy." Oh yeah, he's one of those white boys. Like when shit pops off, his shirt's just off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Exactly. I know those type of white boys. Those are the best ones to have in your team. He's got a lion tattoo and everything. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what's crazy? I pictured that. I'm like, yo, he definitely has a lion tattoo. He's wild, bro. He will whip somebody's ass. Hey, I love that, man. Those are people you want <laughs> on your I'll side. Rip. <laughs> That's fantastic. No, I love that dude. He's crazy. Yeah, he's the fucking man. He seems like the man after chatting it he's up with funny, him. Dude, yeah. <laughs> so, this next project, The Prelude by ASAP Ant. <laughs> Donut. <laughs> he did the he did the Kanye Seven song thing, but Donut. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, he's sorry. Yeah. The wave. Yeah, yeah. He rode the he rode that wave, but the riptide was too strong, so you he got stuck under. <laughs> and then he just ate the bottom of the. He's, ocean yeah, he's the, the he's the he's the fucking seaweed. Coral. Yeah, he's the coral of like wave rappers, dude. Like I gave him a thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, that fucking <laughs> yo. When I read that, bro, I couldn't control myself. Like, <laughs> the rating is for the beat, not you. Holy shit. He got a dookie too, man. It's hard. It's like as much as diamonds are hard, it's hard to get a dookie from us. And if you get a I dookie, try, like, I, mean, I think I passed out a couple dookies this week too. <laughs> this one got a dookie. I flamed his ass. You cooked him, yo, people. You want to laugh, man? Hey, this prelude, got a big this fat fucking, zero. He got a donut. I, 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 I called him the offspring of ASAP Rocky and Ferb, which know the talent. <laughs> Mm-hmm. He's uh, trash. Yo, yeah, this project is fucking miserable. First track, you don't want to listen to it. And then it's like, I commend smooth. you for getting through it. Like, if you made it through the first track without out. giving a dookie, and then you got to a track that you gave a dookie, you are a brave man. <laughs> I literally skipped through it. Yeah, it hurt. Same. It, it was hurt. like 30 seconds and nope. And it was, which nope. Sucks is it, was, it was only 15 minutes. I had to listen. It felt, it felt like forever. I had it to listen to like the Dookie forever. track because the dude's name is so duh. Me about three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I had to listen to the Dookie track to see if the feature was Dookie, and it's just like that whole I thing feel is like just the bad. The guy, the guy, Soda should have been on the track. Blue Cream Soda. <laughs> Fact. <laughs> so he Blue Cream Soda featuring Soda. He missed he out. Fucked up. Yeah, he Marketing. missed out. Slacking. Yeah, now you're on the Dookie <laughs> track. See what you did, Soda. <laughs> Fucking. That's bullshit. what happened to Ant. That's what happened to uh, a bunch of people, man. They get fucking. They just get like it's like label mate shit. Like they don't even. <laughs> they don't even get to see anybody. Like you know, they just go like, to the studio, drop a verse on it, like a garbage is, track. They don't even know. Yams is rolling over in his grave right now. Like that. This should have never ever came out. Like yeah. I. Uh, Buns. Yeah. The prelude to more Dookie emojis. That's what it should have been. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking terrible. But uh, so the next project. 
is a uh, Mish Lowey EP by Mish Lowey. I don't know how to say it. Ms. Lowey, Mish Lowey, whatever. I'm not even going to try. So this project starts off really smooth. It's kind of like the typical, like, I'm going to make some deep kind of sounding music with no content, but it sounds like I'm singing underwater, but it's smooth and it's nice. But it's literally that for every single song. So it gets uh, ravey, but then like there's a point in the middle where it's like eh, I'm kind of bored. I'm not listening to this anymore. I'm down. Yeah, to you. you know. And I it's know like, it is short, but I did stop and come back to it. If I'm gonna be honest, because <laughs> it, it, it's like that one that limbo track. Fucking like after you hear that track, it almost it like puts a chip on your shoulder where you 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 go from like oh this is cool to like hating the artist as a person. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So. I was just like, why yeah. did you make me listen to this? See, there, there's a lot of artists nowadays that I just, like, you know, I hate them as individuals. <laughs> yeah, and it's like, they probably and, could be and, the and nicest it's, person. It's the nicest person, but I hate them. Yeah. Like, if, I meet them in, if I meet them in public, I'll still spit on them. Like, so <laughs> it's like, you're still a piece of shit. You sat in a fucking studio Are we and listened to this just to be like, <laughs> oh, yeah, this is good enough for people to listen to. Like, fuck you. You didn't think about it's, us. I hate them. I <laughs> yeah. hate it. I, but this project oh. is just it's just okay. It's short, so you'll get through it. It's it's good. The first three tracks are definitely replayable. And then the last track was okay, but then the rest are just like sleeps bill. So should have been a not my names. Just saying. Should have been a not? Nah, those three because those, those first three tracks are really good. That, don't sleep on the wave. The wave the wave is I know, a, this, no, this I looks like a pumpkin wave. to me. How? You got half and saying, half, bro. bro. How is it half? It saying. got one bad rating. It got saying. one out of out of. It got, I feel like six. An okay, and a thumbs up or not. A thumbs up is not bro. a bad rating. Thug, thumbs bro. up. Not a good okay. one. Thumbs right. up means the song so, is it's a good so song. What is a pumpkin? So, if, okay, what if is it ain't fire, a pumpkin is like all right. This project is right down the middle. Right in the middle, five to six. Bro. How is this five and six? It got a thumbs up. It, it's a six out of ten. That's crazy. That's, that's this looks like a donut to that's me. That's crazy. A <laughs> donut, immediate <laughs> donut. Like some, I feel like we're some, I feel like we're getting some pity points. There's no pity points. Those pumpkin. first three songs. Those, that means you're downplaying the wave. The wave is literally right before <laughs> fire. The wave is replayable. So if half of the thing is replayable and one of the songs is good, that's one over half. That's a little more than half. But it's a six out of ten. It's tight. It's though. a six. Yeah, I think it's a solid six out I of think, ten. I think it could bounce between five and six, depending on okay. who you're reading it. Yeah, I think depending on how you feel too, because like this project, like, yeah. Yeah, because the beginning maybe, I was really yeah, into. Maybe, oh yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, maybe when I was listening to it, I didn't feel it, but I feel like I, that when I did listen to it, I was like, nah. Yeah, like because yeah. like those first three tracks, when I I remember when I listened to it, I was like, oh, I'm vibing to this. But then I remember right after it, like I switched, like I was just like, yo, fuck this, like. <laughs> <laughs> Some, fuck this guy. Somebody spilled your coffee. Yeah, you ever, like, you know yeah, you like you, you ever just turn on an album like the like a project like it, all the time. Yeah, like all sometimes it could just completely just fuck you up like it could start off really good and then you're just i told pissed. you i stopped halfway and then came back to it i was like <laughs> i literally stopped halfway through it and yeah. it's short as fuck yeah it's super short so the next project is <laughs> no time for an intro the ep by timmy two shirts 10k tim cute little album names fuck these guys <laughs> you know the album time for the, on the intro the art is like simple i guess it's got like the written on the wall and then it's got literally two shirts i get it Ooh. i guess no, I get it. I kind of. It's two shirts. I like. Okay, cool, cool oh, story, bro. Be yeah. creative. Does you know what it made me think of? Does he like do the whole dip set thing and wear two shirts, like the long sleeve over the, <laughs> the you know the short sleeve over the long sleeve? But now it's just a hanger with a black shirt and a white shirt. Dude, he's probably too young to even know who dip set is. <laughs> this project is not good. This project's no. not good at all. No. <laughs> no, that would you just straightforward, John. Yeah, it's, <laughs> not, it's no. not good. It's not good. No. Like and the, and it's just. It's like I, I can't give people points just because you you know some words like we all like most of us have used hooked on phonics depending on how old you are we all went to school not them SAT words <laughs> we know words but like it's not even that like this dude he tried to tell me like oh it's, you know he thought it was dope and it's like cool like you could you know you could like everything you do you can make a disgusting dinner and say oh it's delicious but like at the end of the day it's got to sound good and like this dude's rapping. If, if anyone's even want to give it a chance to see if I was being mean or not, listen to the first track. And the first track is the whole, it'll tell you what the album is. Okay. Like. The first track, okay. I hate that the EP is labeled No Time for an Intro EP. And yeah. then the first song is No has Time it, for an Intro. But it has, but it has, but it has an word, intro. 
it has the word intro in it yeah. as well. Like yeah. you're an idiot. And it has an intro because there's like a little thing in the beginning where he's like, it's like an interview. It's like he interviewed himself, I guess. That, like in front yeah, of I didn't listen to that. I listened to. It's the, Scotty Mac did. Yeah, the, the, the second, the second, and the fourth track, and I was like, all right, well. I think John just deflated. <laughs> when I said that. He just, uh, that was rough. But yeah, no, the, the the first song he kicks into this garbage so all right i'm gonna give the quick rundown because i don't want to give this too much shine but like this is a kid who can put together words but he's never in the pocket he's barely ever on beat and it's like corny words it's nothing interesting he's like it's you know what i'm saying it's like first world problems the rap but but now picture the first song (laughs) kicking into (laughs) someone who's off beat who can't be in the pocket clean but singing an auto-tuned chorus with like zero harmony and then he kicks Fantastic. into an offbeat rap. Like it's not good. Like it's just it's just not good. It's not you a good EP. Look good. You yeah. Don't look good. Yeah, you look bad. But it's like, bro, and I, <laughs> I told him he's like it's like, bro, if you really think this is going to fucking skyrocket you to put you versus Eminem, huh? Nas and Jay-Z Man, or whatever. This is this. this is Yeah, like it's like, dude, this isn't going to do it for you. Like I get it. Like you can string some words together, but it's rapping isn't just putting words together on a beat. Like you need to a fucking figure it out. Words together. Yeah, like, that. and we deal with a lot of that Spins. this week. We're gonna get to that. We do, <laughs> your man's. We we deal with that a lot this week, and this is just the first one. I just don't don't come at us like we give you a review that you sent to us. Don't tell us, oh well, I thought it was good, because cool story, that's not cool what story. you wanted. Of course you did. Yeah, we didn't. You don't send you you don't send us a project to debate with us. Nope. <laughs> so it it's like, like that. yeah. So whatever. So next project that I really and I'm still bumping it that I really fucked with is Bittersweet Volume One by Ocean. Ocean, I picture like the most New York person saying it. Ocean. Why do we always have the weirdest names? I don't know, but these two girls, they put together mm. a project. Boy, one, they're rapping better than most of the artists that we review. Two, their production <laughs> is wild, <laughs> wild. I listened, like the, I, I listened to like the first track and I was just like, "What the hell?" Yo, the the production is so crazy. It's like it's like you put a dope soulful hip hop beat and then had a live band play their own beat on top of it. Like it's crazy, dude. And it's it's good, man. You got the one chick singing her ass off. You got the one chick rapping her ass off. And it's it's like it's as hip hop as it can be. On top of that, it's R and B mixed in. It, it, it's dope. Like this project, I fucking Classic. loved it. Yeah, it has a little, it has a, <laughs> it has a little bit of, it has a little bit of everything. Honestly, yeah, it it really does. And then it has a feature from a girl who also got a great review from me from her album on Friday. But it has dope feature by Georgia Smith who can sing her ass off. And it's just yo, these girls, honestly, like they're it's funky. It's got soulfulness. It's got meaning. They're rapping about some prideful, some heavy shit. They're hip hop. Like some of the swaggy rap that the girl does throw in there, it's fucking clever. Like she's got she's wordplay hard, bars. Dude, quality's up there. The sing the girl singing is up there. It's like a it's like paying respect to old school R and B. But on top of that, it's like a new age thing. There's a lot of instruments, so it gives you a very, very like earthy feel. I don't know. It's crazy, dude. Like this project, I still bump it. Like I fuck with it. It was a heavy, dope project for me. And we don't get a lot of them from the ladies lately, you know? We just get blocked. So it's good to see these two girls going in. <laughs> We've given a lot of female artists checks. Like if they deserve it, they get it. Yeah. There's no like there's no I don't give a fuck what you got in your pants. Yeah. You're rapping and I like it. Get the check. Facts. Facts. They so, just think we're saying right now because they're females. <laughs> I know I hate that shit. Yeah. I guarantee you that's what that jungle pussy bitch would say. She'd be like, oh, <laughs> they just hate me because I embrace my sexuality. No, your bars are trash. She was hot garbage. Actually, yeah, and it's like there were those. You want a man, Joey Badass? <laughs> <laughs> Brutal. So the next project was hashtag SZN by Magic Molly Mall. Molly Magic, isn't Mr. Magic Molly Mall? Yeah, I'm about to, Yeah, I was about to say, isn't that, isn't that someone who died? Yes. All right. So, I was going to say that too. Okay. I, I mean, hey, if you got the rights to it, right? Or if it's spelled Mall. a certain way, I don't know. But if you do, if you do, uh, you put it in letters, it's mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> But um, this project is weird. It was weird, man. And you know what? You guys, you guys got on me for it. And I was like, now that I like, I listened to it again. I was like, eh, it could have been a pumpkin. <laughs> it looks like a pumpkin. Bro. Yeah, this one could have been a pumpkin. I think th- with this one, I'm seeing a pattern. 
<laughs> no, yeah, yeah. The, pumpkin. the pumpkin pattern. This project, I mm. think, I was fooled by the high. It's like very high quality because yeah, you hear, it it, you know, it sounds really clean, and I think I was fooled by that. Like, but like I couldn't tell you. It, it's weird. This one definitely is a pumpkin because even thinking about it now, I couldn't tell you if I hated it or if it was just meh. So yeah, I was definitely just, little manded on this one. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, yeah, if I would, it, it could it and at. It should have been like a five point five, but he, you know, he got lucky. He got I the forgot check. that we even got on you about this one, and yeah. I was reading the comments. Yeah, he got he got on this because <laughs> the project is just well, okay. You tagged me in it. <laughs> well, I know. Yo, Mark, get your man. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because it, because yeah, like the quality just got me, man. Like I, I do appreciate when someone puts money into a project. You know what I'm saying? Like when you put that work into it, it's like I, I can see it. There's so a lot of artists grinding. who put money into projects, but they're still buns. <laughs> yeah, but see, this this one wasn't like buns. No, I know it wasn't that bad. It's we, you know what I'm saying? It's weird, and it's like it wasn't it, like I wouldn't pick it if I'm like I need to listen to something. But if someone put it on, I wouldn't be mad either. You it's know? good background party music. Yeah, and he's saying, "Yo, he's he's a big fella." I just realized that he commented right under where I said this should have been a pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say to you? Yeah, he didn't say anything to me. It was just funny to like scroll down and he's right there. <laughs> but he, uh, yo, he's a big dude, man. But he, he's singing, he's rapping, he's doing a bunch of stuff. It's like, it's a little too new age. Like it's, uh, you know, if you like that stuff, you'll probably love it. He's huge though, man. I looked at his fucking, his fucking Facebook and I was like, man, this is a big dude. He's giant. Uh, he's out there trying to get them little, them tiny girls. Cause them big dudes love them tiny girls, man. It's a fact, but uh, wife is literally like four eleven. There you go. That's the proven fact. But uh, this dude, he actually sent us two more projects. I actually had, um, I think, Big Sco. He reviewed one, and I have someone else reviewing one just to see where I'm at. So you know, got to spread it out, man. We've been doing too much. It just it fucks me up. But this my next project, hurt. my ears hurt. <laughs> so we had Mark gave out his zero for zero for the week. And I gave mine out. <laughs> so this ahead, project, John. Talk your shit. Block Boy yeah. by SG Tip. This project it was, was fucking it. garbage. So I started with an insert from the project as the starting sentence. Met her on IG. Fuck That's that bitch. Nike. That's literally something he wrote down maybe in like a cell phone and read in a booth and asked the DJ how'd that sound. Like whoever was engineering, like yo, that come out good. Somebody mixed it and was like, yo, that sound hot. Yo, that sound fire. And if and if anybody, anybody wants to know where they can hear this, it is on the track called Good Aim, which is fucking track four, which got a hot garbage, got the dumpster fucking symbol, at one minute and <laughs> fifty symbol, seconds. Man. One minute and fifty <laughs> seconds. I got dude, the timestamp and everything, dude. So, cause like, so that dude, self savior, who put out that uh, Duck Lahayam whatever project, he he was like, dude, I'm in tears after reading the review. So I was just like, dude, this is where he said it. Like, and he messaged me about it. He was like, bro, that meowing comment had me fucking crying. And I'm like, dude, this this project was fucking terrible, dude. Like, this dude. <laughs> the whole project is him stretching words so they fit like in the pocket <laughs> like that met her Ugh. on ig fuck that bitch Nagy. yeah yeah like he had to fit it and it's just it's not good like and the, the it's boring like it's trash like i don't know who this dude is but if you close your eyes and listen to this you can immediately think oh he's probably really skinny from the hood has a thousand body tattoos and face tattoos the picture cover he probably shirtless and i guarantee you he has videos swinging. of him with guns on it and I that's it. He's swinging the guns around like, Bleh. yeah, you know where I'm from, kid. <laughs> yeah, man. And he's just, he's, he's just Thanks. weak, bro. This project was weak as shit. He sounded terrible, bro. Like, take all the bad from like a 21 Savage type flow and rhyme scheme and take like <laughs> old, old Gucci <laughs> man, like when he first started doing the, the mixtape stuff, but like take no all slander. the good out. No, no, no slander. slander. No oh, slander. Okay. But take that Gucci the man flow flop. minus the gold. Of Gucci man, and you got this dude. Like it's just not, it's just not good. Don't listen to Gucci, it. It's Gucci man, no, no weight to his ass though. <laughs> Gucci man, Gucci man probably loves him. That's what upsets me. Oh. <laughs> so the project he signed Lil that, Pump, didn't he? Uh, no, I, I think that was in the works. I don't even know where Lil, Lil, Lil Pump. Pump's on one Brothers for twelve million dollars a year. Yo, all right, well, hold on. I didn't one. I didn't know that, but do you think? Wale is really upset about that. Absolutely. Why, why are you whispering? 
Because <laughs> I don't want Wale to hear me, and I feel like he'll <laughs> send us a DM. <laughs> I'm going to wake Wale up. <laughs> he'll send a DM like, it's because I'm black. Because like, <laughs> well, Wale's just uh, angry. But, I definitely think that if I was an artist like Wale, who's been around for a little bit, this little dreadhead, you know, not 17 no year old. Us, like 17 yeah, or 18 yeah, lives with his mom make, yeah making 12 million dollars and i just signed a contract for probably quarter of that <laughs> or you know even half that i'm fucking like he, he signed a deal with warner brother and arguably put out some of his best music via two eps and like little pump yeah, little has pump gucci gang yeah mm-hmm. <laughs> fucking love the music industry it's fucking uh, brutal man uh, yeah, man shout out to little pump though facts the, the feature pump. god Doctor, uh, I cannot wait for Harvard Dropout to drop. Yeah. You know, I like I should not be saying that. Like, you can't I really get that. You it. can't get that review, man. I can't help but like him, man. I don't want especially it. Especially after he I, sat down with J Cole. Oh yeah, that yeah. that sit down was dope. Le Pump. Le Pump. So, all right. Next project is the Banba EP by Rick Wilson. This, this project. What a name! It's, it's uh, this EP, right? EP yeah. six songs. The yeah. EP is all over the place. It's it's very very strange, and you know what? You kind of dumpster, damn. Yeah, it did out of nowhere, but it's like thumbs up, <laughs> thumbs up, thumbs up, dumpster, wow. fire, thumbs down. <laughs> this project is it it it's as weird as the cover art. You, you look at the cover art, and you he's it's kind of telling it. you how weird. It's very it is. artsy, and but it's also uncomfortable because he's just like his feet are just out, you know. <laughs> yeah, New York dudes are so uncomfortable with feet. It's hilarious. <laughs> Mm-hmm. You know why? It's because of Murder Mook, man. Murder Mook ruined feet for New Yorkers, man. Google Murder oh. Mook and feet, and your fucking day's gonna be ruined. Oh, God, please, <laughs> please stop. I'm in Florida, walking around barefoot everywhere I go and shit. Yo, that's Definitely. how you get tetanus. <laughs> no, John, it's not how that works. It's tetanus. You man. have to get cut by rusty metal. What's on? It's the floor. Whatever's on your floor, you'll get it. It poison, does. poison ivy, <laughs> bro. It's asphalt. Like there's not. There's like, probably I don't know you, fucking I don't know bath salts on the ground. Like, <laughs> you ain't gonna get tetanus from that. You just might get a little hungry. <laughs> Fair enough. But this Go project, man. Face. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just eat your best friend's face. This project's weird, man. And it's also funny that it's the Bamba EP and. Mark just writes this album, first two words, but um, I'm gonna let. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna he wrote it like three times in there. That's why I just say project. I That's why, yo, dude, project. project is neutral as shit. This project, this project. Yeah. If if Apple Music doesn't know what it is, then I don't know what it is. I don't know. What it is. Word. <laughs> but yeah, this project was weird. It's definitely a strain. The like... instrumentals, do- the instrumentals are fire though. Yeah, they're just all over the place. They should just be like listened to on the side. Yeah, no one should rap over them. It's one of those things. Yeah, people are people are. It's weirdo music, but like I definitely a lot of these beats. The... I can see people having a good time on them. You hear these beats slowed down inside of a massage parlor. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, so the massage parlor, by me, they take, like, my insurance. I'm trying to live there. Whispering to Wale again. But, um... You're trying to live there? Is that what you just said? Facts. <laughs> Bro, I'm just not comfortable with people touching my naked body. Oh, but you comfortable walking outside on tetanus? Bro, I got a pedicure recently. How'd that feel? That's gross. Yeah, so nah, man. They no, I don't. I'm not. Ju- I'm not judging you, but I'm just saying. Dude, some, massages some, are life. Some, bro. Cam- some Cambodian lady punched me in my calf. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of love that. I want breast milk from a Cambodian lady. Remember she picked me because they said she has the roughest hands. Dude, at so the she was massage like, place, That's what I. That's what I rocked with. And I'm like, me and Angie. My, that's how my wife is when she goes against massage. She's like, beat me. Dude, that's so me and Angie what? there, and the like, dude, me and Angie were there, me. and I was just like, yo, the, like the lady's just like, oh, you know, let me know if it's true. I'm like, yo, fuck me up, like straight up. But like, you can ask Angie. We, we, I was just asleep next to like Angie, like we got like the couples massages we're next to Brazilian each other. Jiu-Jitsu on my back. <laughs> yeah, fact. Like I'm trying to be hurt. Like I'm trying to walk out of here. Like I want like medical leave. Like fuck me up. No, but Have I, you seen I, the ones I love where they like walk on your back and shit. Oh, I want that. Like a, I get me a like tiny Asian like a, girl. I'd be like a bridge. I'm about to say, you like you're, you're, on the you're, yeah, but you're, you're, it'd be easy to stand on your butt. you like standing on the back, like on the roof of a, a VW Beetle. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that massage shit was weird, though. They're like, yeah, man. It, they put on, like, weird, like, Enya, and they're like, oh, you can you can take your underwear off or not. And I'm just like, no, nah, I'm good, man. But it was... Yeah, see, that's the part of the way, because, like, 
like weird shit happens sometimes. Like, like you, there's been cases of people like, I mean, this might <laughs> there's been cases of people like busting nuts while during a massage, like, like involuntary. <laughs> <laughs> <can't help> <laughs> That's I like. If you can bust a nut of someone like not touching your dick, I I respect that. Ha! Gay. I kind of respect that. <laughs> All right, so we're up to our Throwback Thursday, Throwback Thursday of the week, and that was the uh, 2006's Soul on Ice by Ras Cass. Ah, oh, Jesus. Man. I was ah. a jit. Oh, man. Yeah, I was a jit. Nice, new age words. I was a jit, yeah, like man. for real. This, That's not new age, bro. That, that, jit me, Jimmy's jit me the I've, jitterbug. I've heard yeah, jit once on this training. year the, for the first time, and it was when fucking Lil Pump called J. Cole a jit. We bring him up again. They owe us a check. Jit. Not, well, he's from South Florida. There you go. We've been like me and James. Dude, you guys you act like y'all, oh. in the, y'all in the past anyways, man. Y'all don't even wear shoes. Nah, bro. We trendsetters. Nah, Dale. That's where Jit came from. Dale. Nobody says that out here, man. Lil Pump said it. That's what I'm telling you. The word doesn't to exist. Watch. Nah, watch. Never. never. No Lil one Pump. Starting that. to watch. I'm gonna put another poll out Don't for that. Don't be a Jit. Nah, never. That bull. But all right. So, but that was a throwback Thursday. That was fire. And that dude, he jumped in again. <laughs> Yo, gang, JP, gang. man. Yeah, what's up? Yo, you you are WLP in the mess out of us. You you good? You in? You in now? Yeah. Do I sound better? You sound better, yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah, I'm good. I'm good to go. Sorry about that. Okay. Yes. So we're up to um, we're up to uh, Friday, honestly. No, we're up to Thursday. We're up to Thursday. So yeah, we're talking about Rascast. Yeah. So the Rascast, uh, the and throwback Coolio. Thursday. I'm mad you didn't yeah. say no homage to Coolio. Because I, because like, because like I don't recall much Coolio, and I didn't like yeah, I didn't know it was a joint. Him, he's literally on there the whole time. Yeah, you know, <laughs> fucked me up, man. So I didn't tag him because I was worried. <laughs> Why? He Coolio, the tag. Coolio, I think he's. Well, on I'm gonna Instagram. tag him right now. All right, yeah, you can. Tag, I'm, I'm gonna tag him in the picture. Tag Coolio, see if he's see see if he's on Instagram. Exactly, that's a better question. That's JP. Coolio said. is probably that that fucking old grandfather that has an iPhone seven or iPhone X. That <laughs> would Coolio there. be Would Coolio be verified? I wouldn't know. <laughs> I mean, I mean, <laughs> I feel like if you, I feel like. <laughs> 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 you know that Loki was funny, but it hurt at the exact same time. I mean, Luke is our five. Oh man, fucking Coolio! Uh, you have a Coolio. Hey, Gangsta's Paradise, Amish Paradise, my favorite version of that. Yeah, song. Uh, he's not verified. There's thirty-one. There's thirty-one K followers. Okay, that's gotta that's be gotta him. Be I ta- him. I just tagged him in it too. We'll just let him. We'll let him that's get that. Him. I'm gonna message him like, Coolio, is this you? <laughs> what are you doing right now? You trying to hop on a podcast real quick? <laughs> yeah, right. What do you do, Coolio? How many I'm braids you got left? <laughs> I'm about to follow Coolio. Facts. <laughs> I'm following him right now. So <laughs> this project was fire, though, man. Raskas. I, I still. I feel like he like. As much as everyone knew about this project, everyone knew him and stuff, I still feel like he's super underrated. And that JMO gang shit, like, that should have... Yo, we should try to get... I, I'm going to hit him up because I forgot he was mad vocal with the JMO gang stuff. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. Oh think about that. God. Think about that. But, um, yeah, like, he, this, this project was fire, bro. Like, this was one of the few projects where there weren't even, like, haters on the throwback. They were just like, yo, this is fire. They're like, people... About real shit, people like, people like, yeah. Yeah. It's true. Rush yeah. has a problem. Yeah. Like, he's a lot been of there. Problem. He's there. Well, all these new people don't even know who he is. No. Yeah. No clue. Started, Which is crazy. I started picking up on Rush Cass when he started beefing with Game, when Game was still with that whole team. Yeah. Thing. Oh, yeah. And, yeah, that's when I started listening to him. I was like, holy shit, this motherfucker. He's nice. Punches, bro. Yeah, he's nice, bro. Yeah, man, that that this it's good to see him like still doing stuff, but it's like yeah, he's definitely criminally underrated, which is which is sad. But he came, and what's crazy is like this album held its own, and like you know how like it's crazy how much fire came out like two thousand five, two thousand six. Like it's crazy, like the fact that this is part of that because a lot of things went under the radar. That's where a, a majority of our slept ons come from, fucking like that say those Especially same years. Well, because like a lot of those artists from that era are coming out with stuff now and then you realize that 
they've been spitting for a really long time. Yeah. You know, that like that's why I kinda like what we do now is because I can go back and listen to something and actually appreciate it for what it is. Oh, not yeah. for like not like, oh yeah, I'm listening to Raz Cas or I'm listening to this pro or Obi Trice. Yeah. Or yeah, I'm every project we put on like a slept on or throwback, I'll bump again and it feels good. You're like, Whoa shit, this is actually a really good project. These yeah. they were actually spitting back then, rap was actually really good back then. So. It's way better. I mean, you listen to it and it's still like, yo, know, it's like this kind of floors a lot of the new shit that well, like we praise and it's crazy. I listen to U G K all day today, so Fine. Yeah. I was listening to uh, I was listening to obviously I was listening to Goody Mob all day, so <laughs> oh man! Oh. But um, so back to the Thursday, you know, the Thursday projects. I did um, the first project pissed me off that I did for the for Thursday was mm-hmm. Praz came out with a EP called Wave Culture, and it was really upsetting. First song because, is called Lionel Richie, <laughs> which I'm very okay with. But the name of the song, if I could give the name of the song a rating, it'd be a diamond. Technically, wouldn't he be the president of the Light Skin Coalition? Oh, Lionel Richie. <laughs> yeah, he's he's more emperor. He's been around okay. longer. Yeah, he's yeah, the, okay. the, the president is Chris Brown because he beat the one side. They got away with. Yeah, well, he's he's the he's he, he's like the he's the vice president, but he's president now since no, Drake's like missing. He's, like, nah, man, he's like he's secret service for like Sergeant in Arms. <laughs> yeah, sorry, yeah. He's, he's always ready to swing on somebody. Yeah. <laughs> Treasure. <I'm, laughs> but yeah, man, this this project was weird, man. It fucking it it it. Honestly, and I hate to admit it, I don't like to compare things or all this stuff, but this felt like Praz trying to just, it's called wave culture, but it literally felt like a sad old man attempt at being a part of the wave culture. And he didn't even like drop any knowledge on it. Like I thought he was going to do like a, like a Tetsuo and like you, or like a, the Drogas project shit that like Lupe did where it's like, Oh, I'm Negative. doing, or like KOD, like where I'm doing the new age stuff, but I'm actually trying to give a lesson and all that. And it's just, it was, bro. yeah, it was, it's just boring. It was where corny. The fuck did he find young MA? Dude, she snapped on that song. That's the, honestly, if she didn't snap the way she did in that song, that song would have got like a, a snoozeville. Cause like she snapped, she can rap, man. And it's like, as much as I hate that single, she can fucking rap. But this project was like it was just ooh. yeah ooh, it, this project was whack like it had two wavy songs that I like that were smooth but like not because of Praz like and it's like bro you were a Fuji bro like come on bro <laughs> step yo game man. yeah like this project is like it's like you're too by its old features. yeah like you're too old for that bullshit like get the fuck out of here with this I'm gonna do some wavy shit like you're an old man bro rap about sitting and reading books with reading glasses on with the nightlight on and shit like don't give me this <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> Talk so, about what you know about. Yeah, you know, I would have loved that. Like, and he just uh, also upset. He did like some dope documentaries and all sorts. You know what I'm saying? Some like really helpful, like for the people type shit. And this is what you're gonna come out and put out. You got a song called "Old Ye," yay, yay, ye, like Kanye. And oh. it's yay, you uncultured ye, swine. Ye. Went through this last episode. Angela Ye, nah, it's and yay, ye. It's it'd be <laughs> a a. Ye. But it, ye, ye. But yeah, it's is that from Undercover Brother? Yep. Yep. All right. Yeah, I know that when he's on the roof and the pigeon was there. <laughs> but um, yeah, like you have a song called that, and like you would. What do you think when you hear that song? You're like, oh, I'm about to hear some samples. samples. Yeah, nothing. <laughs> nothing. Like <laughs> you the fuck. Nothing he's just me. rapping about pink polos. <laughs> Not. Yeah, it's weird, man. It's fucking weird. Pink but, polo, Gucci backpack. Oh, it's weird. <laughs> it's like, it's like if like your like parents are trying to like buy some like bootlegged shit. Like the rugged outbacks that Royce was rapping about that aren't really Tim's, and they're like, no, it's the same thing. <laughs> Nobody cares. It's hip. And it's they're that. like Wallaby. They're like the lugs. He's like the lugs. Facts. I was a lugs kid. <laughs> you know, honestly, even though people like may hate on lugs, lugs were the real fighters. They were like the Tim's fighters who were the cool guys, and then there were the lugs fighters. We used to pinch and bite and like use John, sticks. Right now, do you own a pair of lugs or do you own a pair of Timbos? I got a I got a pair of Tims now though. Yeah, I'm, exactly. I'm, I've I'm, exactly. I've I've come into I've I'm a human now. But back then yeah. I was a dirty lug spider. You want to know you want to know what is worth your money and will hold up? Hmm. Kitchen shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. I need a bro, picture go. of these kitchen go shoes ahead. in the chat so I can they understand. They look like sir. they look like shit. <laughs> I got paint on them right now. I'll take a picture of it and to you. You can roast me. What are those? Nah, I'm, I, hey, I'm, what. hey I, I'm a dad I now. At, I, I'm, I have zero I went to Universal, bro, and I wore a pair for a full year <laughs> before they gave out on me, and that was walking like 10 miles a day. Jeez. 
All right, send them to me. I'm I'm in, I'm dad gang now. I'm I don't care about safety what. step. I wear whatever the fuck is on my body. Like I don't care. Not a sponsor, but would let them sponsor. Yo, I'll hit them up. They'll be part of our ads. But uh, safety step, check it out. <laughs> hit us up. I'm gonna tag I'll them. See if I can get a screenshot Wait, right now. Safety. Are you talking about? safety step. <laughs> the hell are those? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, were you even listening? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was, but uh, I'm like, I'm fake. I've never spoken to you. He sounded offended. He sounded he offended. Out. What the like, fuck are you talking about? He's connected from the server. <laughs> and the show was spoken. Nah, yeah, I was talking about Logan. And you said, so I didn't hear the shoes you were talking about. That's why. I was like, what is this? I'm going to play like the windows like turning on noise when he comes back in. The boom, 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 boom. No, I'm just the whole time, bro. <laughs> like, don't, don't. <laughs> oh man but uh so moving on after we see these shoes the next project was man's worst enemy ep by uh sarface and uh, mf doom they're still working together like i movie. really don't like that the only thing that i don't like about this project it's one song with raps only one song they rap on i yeah. love instrumentals i love instrumentals and i love instrumentals yeah but when I hear MF Doom and Starface, like, I really need them to rap. Yeah, but I honestly, will. though, because they put out that dope project earlier in the year, I think this just means, like, something else is coming out quick. What are they, what are they too tired to put four songs together? Come I think on. they're just hyping. I think they're just hyping. I think they're just like, yo, this is the type of production that the next project's going to be on it, and they're trying to go uh, crazy. Yeah, Eddie, but, like, like, yeah, you, you gave me a little taste, <laughs> but you, give me two songs out of four, you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, I get it, but I, I loved it either way. It was a good time. It's a great listen. <laughs> but, uh, hey, I mean, I like those short little ones, but it, it reminded me of, like, just, like, comic, like, jumping around through a comic. It's just, like, the action music and shit like that. But I definitely was upset. I definitely needed more rap. I fucking love and that's fine. Oh, facts. I want bars. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I need 16 of them shits. So, next project was the... Pro, the EP, I guess. I don't know if you want to call it a soundtrack or EP, whatever the fuck it is, but it's for Rapture, the music from the Netflix original TV series. And this is this is a lot of bangers for hey, such a Netflix, short. Hey, you're Netflix. We're looking for that sponsorship, Holly. Oh, my God. Yo, <laughs> yo, yo be seriously. Be dope. Yeah, I'd be fire. fire. I'm try, dude, Put us on. <laughs> I would love to submit my music for, like, get me on Bright 2 so I can meet Will Smith. <laughs> But um, <laughs> this this is fire minus the Jeezy track. But even though it's a dope, just I'm Blaze so beat. mad about that. I'm so mad about that. I like, rather especially just with the just Blaze, yeah. come on, just yeah. Blaze? Every any and what's crazy is anyone else on this project would have murdered that beat. Yes, I would have rather have heard Davies. Oh yeah, Davies. Oh, Yo, I really, I really. Well, one, I like every track on here, but like besides that one, but I really like that Davies Day Boogie with the hoodie track. Me man. too. That shit went. Yeah, that was that fire. shit. Bang. Everything was fire. Yeah. Everybody snapped. Oh my god, like, that Ti Rhapsody everybody. song. Oh my god, that shit. Fucking Rhapsody, Rhapsody fucking everywhere. lost it. Nas and Davies. Yes. Oh my god, Killer Mike Two Chains. I loved it the whole time. I like that Two I, Chains got on I two think, tracks. I think I think Logic shaved his head while he was recording this verse. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this, was, this is this is this is buff logic. This is buff buff shirtless single this logic. Buff logic. Yeah, this is aggressive logic. <laughs> yeah, he's wild logic aggressive now. Logic doesn't know what he to do right now. No, he's dude. He's trying to crush he ass. He went in on that. Yeah. <laughs> he he him and him and wifey split, and he's just been shirtless and working out and getting buff on Instagram. He, like I see him shirtless every. He's trying to crush. He's cheeks. like I'm just trying to. He's like I'm trying to get to the yeeks. <laughs> somebody that's a fact hey get do your thing you've been with that lady for a long time you are set free work sir get it Yo, sir. Like, now i hope i now we now i hope we just get an, another well we got a, we just got aggressive logic but i just need like a nasty yeah 10 song logic yeah. i want him to get go at joiner lucas oh my god <sighs> I want him to so bad. Oh, he won't do great. it though. He's that would be a, a fucking rap. Because it, it, it just goes against his image, unfortunately. Yeah, he's all like, I definitely Peace, think. Love. I think Logic could probably outwit Joiner. Yeah, I think like, Logic. Joiner's mean. Because I think Joiner definitely can like do more with his pen, but I think Logic can put together better songs. But do you think? Would, do you think they could take it to like the mixtape at least? You know what I mean? I so think they would. I like, think it'd be a great, a great. I think it'd be a definitely one of those un, like 
wars that people wouldn't expect because a lot of people call logic corny and a lot of people just don't like jordan lucas for whatever reason a lot of people call jordan lucas corny too yeah i like them both but i prefer logic if i was losing yeah i prefer world. logic just slightly because I'm i think it's just mad his, i think it's his body of work i think he just has more i like stuff. joiner's remixes oh his remixes are fire but like it's a remix you can't really give too much credit yeah for exactly remix. but yeah. that's no, but I think that would be a good war. I think it'd be a good time, and it, and it's good to see because like Jordan Lucas isn't necessarily top tier, and Logic is top tier, so it'd be good to see like a mid tier versus top tier. I think that'd be a nice because like I know Jordan would fucking go crazy at that opportunity. He and would block, he would try to block out, and I'm hoping Logic would try to do the same. You know yeah. what I mean? He try to swing with. I him. feel like Logic would. He's like honestly, you don't you know how those like nerdy kids who have something to prove now. I feel that like that I good. honestly feel like if Jordan can push him enough. Yeah, that'd be great. Like if he can get his baby mama in a photo with him. <sighs> Yo, I'm oh. I'm tweeting that. I'm fucking tweeting fucking Jordan Lucas that. <laughs> get his ex in a picture with you, bro. And he responds. Dude, I'm not even. I'm going to find two pictures. I'm going to Photoshop it. I'm starting this war myself. <laughs> Put it on wax. <laughs> I'm going to be like, damn, Logic. This you, bro? This your man's and your woman's, bro? You gotta Photoshop Jonah Lucas in the Mercedes G wagon that lied for his wife before she broke up with him. That's <laughs> Yo, Joanna that's said, a fact. Joanna and then I'll put I'll Photoshop the word, Gucci flip flops in there. <laughs> Fuck your bitch in some Gucci flip flops. Oh hell yeah. She flip flops out the window like ah. Oh <laughs> facts. Oh I can do I'll I'll dude I can doctor a very clean Photoshop if I'm really trying. Do it. Do it for the gram. For the culture. But um, it was the gram, dude. That'd be great. People would lose their mind. But uh, so the next project was honestly this is my upset of the year. This this hurt my feelings, and I didn't go into this like, yo, I'm a big fan. But I was hoping that I because I I am a fan, but I wasn't like fanboying. You know, I wasn't like you know going in there like, oh, this is gonna be the best. But I was like, yo, this guy always puts out solid projects. This was Duality by Big Scoob of Strange Music, and it is just. 19 very very uh, it's a ooh, lot of boringness for man, and I and I fuck with Big Scoop his last few albums I was on board with and I just I like the I like the heavy set like old head but like the old general type music you know what I'm saying it like bumps it it's just this just didn't do it for me it got really boring i don't think seven was doing the production on here either like seven wasn't on here so the production wasn't crazy and it didn't have that strange music quality bro i like did he like leave strange like i don't know what this this is but this project it was boring as shit bro it felt like he just wasn't trying at all he should have released a dope ep instead of an ad album yeah you know and it's like it's not even like it's 19 it's like 70 songs on there (laughs) <laughs> barely like five maybe yeah like it's just like i'm counting thumbs oh and then and that's decent like i don't know man this project was a big letdown bro and it had all the features on there i never thought i would drop a solid like a comfortable okay on a track with tech nine on it bro like i was just i just wasn't feeling it man i bet that hurt your soul it did man i've been a fan of tech for fucking ever bro like come on bro it just didn't sound good, man. And there is no Chris Calico song. And every time he works with Chris Calico, it's my favorite. Like Walco, you'll love this song too. Like I don't I, like. You ever listen to? Um, you ever listen to Big School, by the way? Just in general. No, I don't think I got to this one to be honest. Oh, uh, if you listen to his other projects, it's dope. But it's like very, very like Midwest, but like aggressive Midwest. But he added this song, and it's two fat fucks, two fat fuck, and it's the most bumpy. It's fucking hilarious, but it's fire. Like two fat fucks, fucks, and it's him and Chris Calico. But it is catchy. It's bumpy, and he's just cracking a lot of like you know, like I'm a big guy too, like big guy jokes, and it's a good time. Like it's a good fucking time. We all can love, except for JP. You're you're not a big guy, big big guy. You know, me, (laughs) me, Walco, and Mark. We 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 enjoy ourselves sometimes. I'm a giant. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, you are a giant. <laughs> I'm the biggest fuck. Yeah, but this project was weak. Like, I don't want to talk about it anymore. But uh, so this was the uh, the fun time of Friday. So we had Friday. We had a face off Friday. So immediately off rip, I wanted to cause controversy. <laughs> so I put King of New York versus King of Chicago. So I did Takashi. This did not 69. take off the way I wanted it to. <laughs> I think it upset more people than it did. Like, cause like, well, you you see the sidebar post. I posted an angry fan. And angry fan people went crazy because this got like seven thousand looks, 
like people saw it and like we got a bunch of comments on there but that was through angry fan i gotta invite you guys to it so you guys can see the shit that i cause in there but um sidebar i got a little bit of love too but some people just aren't smart sidebar is black yeah some people are sidebar just is a bunch of trolls, stupid. but there's a lot of people in there so yeah there's not a lot of them aren't good trolls though that's where it gets annoying but it was takashi 69 versus chief keef and i put a picture of whoa vicky and o dog from menace to society and people <laughs> people just <laughs> it's so good yeah people just like don't get it like and it's like people are fucking stupid but it's it's like also a thing like what do we and i was putting like the, the caption like who's gonna die first and shit like that like trolling who's gonna get shot first but like on a music <laughs> standpoint too it's like hey who do you like more like a lot of people love at Chief this Keeps point I, I enjoyed Sakashi's music i was gonna say i was gonna have to, was gonna have to say mm-hmm. yeah yeah because chief has been putting out some trash lately huh that's the new shit that six nine just put out that is actually tough. I like I I I'm I'm I don't like love his music, but was, I'm not. Uh, I like Takashi's music, wasn't it? Tati. Tati. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's that shit went tough. in. That shit yeah. slaps, bro. Yeah, you slaps. just want to just hit somebody in the face. I, I fuck with Six Nine's music. I mean, I don't hate. I like his music. I can't hate on him. I really can't. Yeah, it's it's it's, seven, it's hype seven. music, bro. If you if you go to seven, a gym seven. or do anything like fucking anything just like high intensity, and you put him on, it works. It's Tati music. Yeah, it's a good time. But yeah, this was our Face Off Friday. It was a good time. Most people pretty much pick Takashi over Chief Keef, so I guess most and of our they, followers are from. But what was the what was the vote? Who's getting shot first? Oh, everybody was saying Takashi's gonna get shot first. Okay, just making sure. Oh, Takashi's gonna get shot <laughs> yeah. at all. Oh yeah, <laughs> definitely. See, not only were we trolling that, that once, I hope we that SUV is bulletproof. <laughs> yeah, not even that. Like, look what he's doing. Look. Like, look at everything this motherfucker is doing. We're calling every dude out that claims they're a gangbanger. And he's getting away with it. Oh, yeah. And the louder making- they are, the bigger they are. Facts. This is making everybody just look stupid because this rainbow hair. Lover, and the internet's making it way worse. Like they, like they, that TMZ interview where he's asking for a feature. They chopped it up to twenty seconds because you only see him asking for a feature. But like they left out the whole part where he starts mocking Chief Keef, and it's like that's why people are like, oh, he's soft. I'm like, no, he's not. He mocked Chief Keef. Started saying, I'm going to do a freestyle, sang Sosa, but didn't know the words. That was hysterical. But then after he did that, he tweeted. Yo, Chief Keef, you're gonna thank me for bringing you back from the dead with Sosa. You got that more streams so now. Funny. That shit is crazy. Like, and you're you're telling me that this dude's scared of him? No, this dude just fucking shitted on him, tested his gangster, and got put money in his pocket. Like, you fucking kidding? That's disrespectful. That's you know, that's mad disrespectful. Takashi knows how to secure the bag. And these kids, they see the He's 20 second it. video and they're like, "Yo, I've been new." Like they wait for anything to be like, "I've been new." He was soft, as if they're not keyboard gangsters. Like all this bullshit. And I'm like, "Shut up!" Like watch the full fucking video. Learn how to troll correctly. Like you guys think you're trolls, but it's like you guys, these guys aren't trolls. Like. It's just crazy. Just idiots with keyboards. And he's been he's been chilling with a lot of he's been chilling with Fifty Cent a lot, and that is the troll god, that's the so troll true. bully yeah. god. So that's what he's learning. Photoshops people on this shit all the time. Oh, it's great. Strap. It's fucking great. I want to be yeah, a part of that. Trouble with the NYPD right now over that. <laughs> Yo, get, get the strap. strap. Get the strap. Oh, I'm gonna get so that funny. on my shirt. Get the strap. Oh yeah, it's a good one. A fat Joe saying it. Everybody's fucking saying it. We but need yeah. to start get the stamp, dude. How do I get? I want to. I got to reach out to this. Is fifty? If they need a, if fifty needs a Photoshop guy, like for the on the fly, I got him. Yo, the crazy thing is like the people, the biggest pros in that game right now will probably reach out to us. Like fifty, I'm sure if that nigga can be catching the Irish one, they're posting the hard. Yo, because he's done it before. That's a, like fifty has no problem showing love to nobody. I feel like yo, fifty would love what we do. I'm gonna think about that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna find whichever. I'm gonna, re- we're gonna do a review of whatever Ja Rule's last project is and send it to Fifty. Yes. <laughs> and then have him just repost him. Oh, and then we're do good it for a flashback Friday. Perfect. Yo, we should, uh, we should uh, review Vinny Vinny V. No, but we're trying to. <laughs> it would, we would have to cook his ass. That's oh, fine. Oh, so let's do his last one. What was that he had with us? Uh, you go clap back. You go clap back. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. That beat is fire. <laughs> that yeah, beat is fire. I like Rain Days and Mary J. Blige better than. But um, let's. I don't want Ja Rule to like reach out to us, so let's let's leave him off. For a <laughs> <bit>. <laughs> but um, well, so 
John reaches out to us, and fifty will reach out to us, and we'll be on fifty's radar. Oh man, I'm with that. I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be best friends with it. You know what's weird? My um, my uncle and them, like back in the day, they did a track with like Fat Fifty back in the day, and I'm like, you guys should have kept in touch. But anyways, I said the same thing to my uh, my brother in law because you know I actually like to get like a few people to try to so moving on we got the next project this is the beginning of friday so after the face off this is the first album which we had to wait fucking forever for because it just didn't come out properly and on time because of the track names and shit it was kids see ghosts which is the duo of kanye west and kid cuddy let's talk about this project the correct track list now i didn't update it because fuck it this is the original no yeah no so i don't really care the album came out at whatever eleven thirty, and then Kid Cudi tweeted at like five o'clock that oh the track list was wrong we just fixed it like really, yeah and then bro? It, it changed yeah how uh, unprofessional yeah, yeah so really like three songs were fucked up yeah that's I just left it at this is what it was because this is the, when it first came out and like fuck it you know whatever I'm the, gonna... the project is a, this it's a solid project yeah. instrumental wise like Kanye is cooking yeah. What is with the seven song bullshit, though? Seven, 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 I guess. I don't know, man. Some weirdo shit. Kanye's on his weirdo but shit. It's a solid project. You know, he got I a diamond. It did get a diamond. And I mean, what it is, is what... Okay, so the Cuddy montage is the last song. So the Cuddy montage got a diamond. Mm. So, <laughs> which is okay for me, you know what I mean? It was called Recovery before or whatever, oh, but Reborn, the song yeah. itself is fire, you know what I mean? That's like, the one with the, with the sample. Over over. That's the one yeah. with... Yeah. The, the Kurt Cobain sample. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that sample. I wonder how much he paid for love. Yeah. But love. Way too You know much. what song? I, I, I really just, like... The, the project's good. I, I, I didn't, like... I, I wanted to be able to just, like, keep looping it, but I, I really couldn't. But, um... And Kanye, I think that might be the most I've listened I to or something. That, that <laughs> I love. Like I think we were all listening. Like like we we're all listening to it at the same time. Oh, I messaged you. I'm like, yo, what the fuck's like, going on? Is Kanye really serious about this? And look, he's absolutely serious. It's wild. I think but the song, the song that I think I like the most that I I can't stop listening to is the the keep pushing forward, the keep moving mm-hmm. forward. I think it's because he repeats it so much, but I just really like it. It's just it's just it's like a vibes track, man. Uh, that's I just cool. love the instrumentals, man. Yeah. I bought the vinyl. Bought the vinyl. <laughs> you love vinyls. Yeah, man. I just like the vinyls, man. And I like that. I just like to physically have the copy of that of certain. Did albums. you get Pusha T's vinyl? Mm, actually, I should buy that Ugh. too. It's thirteen bucks. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna go get the Pusha T's the plug. Dude, and that vinyl's gonna look well, fire because no, it's well, the, the kid, it's the, the Whitney kids, Houston fucking the, yeah. The kids see the kids see Ghost and the uh, the Kanye one are only fifteen dollars. Mm. It's not bad. Mm-hmm. No, I just like the yeah. album cover for Kissy Ghost. I really do. I don't know why. It's really cool. I just think it's, it's it reminds just, me like, of um this video game that I've been playing with like this little white ghost character. It's a good time. Well, they have that Japanese artist doing. He's pretty famous. It's the same guy who did Graduation. Yeah. Or no, wait, no, College Dropout. One of those. One of those. Whatever. Yeah, one of those. But, He's been yeah. doing a lot of stuff with Kanye. Kanye you know, you're in Kanye's cult, you're never out. So. <laughs> I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be in that cult. A good music uh, sweatshop, like like Valley or Valley, whatever his name is. Unless, unless you're Rhyme Fest, and you that, he's not. <laughs> six songs, man. Six, six, Don't six, you six. dare leave Rhyme Fest alone. <laughs> Rhyme Fest is mad right now. Oh man! Hey, he put out a fucking dope my album with Jazzy Jeff. My friend has a picture with Kim K and Rhyme Fest does it not? <laughs> <laughs> but there is a tweet between Kim K and Rhyme Fest. If that counts for anything. <laughs> But um, so moving forward, we got uh, "Lost and Found" by Georgia Smith. Oh man, I love this project. You love mm, this. Mm. I love this project. Dude, she she even fire, bro. she even rapped. She even rapped on one song, that, and that, that was, was fire. Like the freestyle track. I yeah, really do. she went off, and it's just it. Honestly, I, it's rare. Like R and B is a is 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 dying, and people don't realize it. And it she. She fucking kills it, dude. This project is fire. Everything <laughs> sounds different. Every track sounds a little different than the next. She's all over the place. And then that Goodbyes track fucked me up. But 
This project's fucking fire. You know what's crazy? Did you, did you really tear yeah, up, dude, though? Feelings. I did, dude. It's the, yo, that track really... I can't listen to it and not feel a type of way. But it, that track's phenomenal. The immediate diamond because it fucked me up like that. But um, what's crazy is, <laughs> as I was like, I was reviewing this at work, and this dude that I chat with at my job, I'm just like, oh, man, Georgia Smith. I'm like, she's, I'm like, she's light-skinned. I'm like, she's very British or something. And I'm like, she looks like a Smith. So I, like, just Google it. And, like, Will Smith retweeted this album. <laughs> He like posted about this album, and I was like, "Oh, interesting," but she's not related, unfortunately. So, Scientology. <laughs> Chill. Fact. <laughs> also fact though, but yeah, this project is just dope as shit. She has a crazy voice. The production's on point. It, it all flows together. She's not singing about no bullshit. There's zero ratchetry on here. She seems like a church girl. Like she's a good. Oh, she's like, like a decent human. <laughs> That's the Jungle second time. Yeah, Yo, that name, man. How'd she get that? We already flamed her early in the episode. <laughs> yeah. But then... <laughs> Dude, the jungle pussy. She needs to change that name. But then the next project was boring as shit, and everybody was hype, like waiting for it, because I know a lot of people that were talking about it, too. But it was Ethernet by Wi-Fi's Funeral. Get Shrib. it? Ethernet? <laughs> Wi-Fi's Funeral. I get it. I get it. This project was boring, bro. It's just... It's like the most lackluster boring shit ever same flow all the time every beat sounds the same he's <laughs> rapping about the same shit it was really boring and he could you could tell he was trying to do like the whole post malone deep type sound thing but it was boring like sleep fast what i'm over it fun. yeah i'm i'm over it <laughs> but um my fa- my favorite review of the week <laughs> was jp's review of bruce wayne <laughs> by fetty wild <laughs> Yo, fuck that, yo, man. I took one for the team because I know I've been slacking a lot. But man, I had hope for Fetty, man. Yo, his his that. album, like, his album this year was good. His first album was good. Nah, yo, that's crazy. <laughs> this album that came out at the beginning of the year was actually good, and then this project is bad. Like I saw the I saw the project, and I was like, yo, why he named this? And it was, I guess, his parents, grandparents died. I'm like, I'm, I'm expecting to hear like some real life shit. No, don't name an album for your grandparents if you just want to talk about fucking a bitch in high school. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. That's like, what my grandparents want to hear. For real, every song was about. Every That's song what grandma Mogul wants to hear. For real, like yo, know, there was not one song like Cincinnati song for them on that album, and that's what I was waiting for. Like, yo, let me hear him actually have some substance. <laughs> but at least he didn't talk about Bob and Jeans this time. So at least he upgraded to some new, like, me vibes. Oh, man. Man, this shit was whack, man. I really, like, that shit made my ears bleed. Dude, your first I, sentence. So I didn't know Fetty was making kids' bop music. Oh, my <laughs> God. Bro, bro I top swear to God. Top tier, top dude, tier of he's reviews. Fine. Even my wife said that. Like, it's not like some shit you go on at the farm. And oh man! Crazy and it's yeah, it's, it's the production was bad. Like, because you got one eye, you only see half the table. Dude, <laughs> no kids bop wop now. Yeah, like, kids bop pop. <laughs> dude, the fucking yeah, like. I think it was right in half the paper. That's why his verses sound like that. <laughs> and there's no Monty on it. <laughs> Oh, wait. This is what happened. Monty's acting like any rapper, Soulja Boy. That nigga just like disappeared. No one know where he raps at now. Oh, no way. <laughs> Dude, this this project, man, I listened to it, and I was... I, one, reading the Kids Bop sentence before listening to it kind of threw the whole thing away from me, and, like, all I could hear <laughs> was Kids Bop. Like, that's all I could hear going through this project. So I was like, I'm done. It's over. <laughs> If hip hop made a version, they wouldn't even censor anything on the album. That's oh my god, bad. so bad. Nothing would be silly. It's horrible. Buns so McGee. Bad. Oh man. Serial people name. But other than that, it, it, like the, the album is hard. <laughs> Oh, man. So that's pretty much for Friday. And then now we're moving on to SoundCloud Saturday. Starting to become my worst, <coughs> my worst review, like days. I hate these. So the first project was Kill Shy Guy by Thaddeus Fathead. Oh, okay. um, man. This, so this dude, let's put it like this. <clears throat> if this is like, if someone was like, let me rap but imitate Exhibit's voice with one single flow 
for an entire project of the same regular boom bap beats that's the that's this project bro it's literally eight tracks of the exact same shit over and over again and nothing stands out like if you're rapping with exhibit voice and you're not punching hard or like saying anything that's gonna make me cringe my face then it's rapidly rap like it's bull like i don't want to hear it and that this this project was just boring as shit but this dude took it <laughs> so he did some cool guy new age shit and this is gonna be a warning just for all the you young bucks out there if you post that you appreciate a review or something someone says for you then immediately call the review whack in the same set of comments and then try yeah, to, like we can see you yeah and then try to tag us you. in a fucking corny ass dusty car freestyle where you're literally doing the exact same thing honestly just just hang it up like just hang it up do stop us a it. solid stop stop fooling yourself yeah like just just stop cut it out like you're you're already showing us one that you're comfortable with your garbage ass rap so you're never gonna grow two you can't take any sort of criticism so you'll never make it if you can't take criticism Three, oh everybody says it's good all 50 yeah. of my friends and family yeah i have 101 followers but people around the world told me it's good it's not just my friends and family like around okay the world where yeah in that dusty ass car you're freestyling and you drove around the world in that get the fuck out of here so it's like <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, get the fuck out of no, here. That's so brutal. That's so brutal. No, it's dead ass, bro. It's like, all right, bro. You you, you talk to us when your when your Android camera looks better via Instagram, bro. Like, get the fuck out of here. Like, <laughs> shit is trash, bro. Like, I'm, yeah. Nah, I'm sick. Yeah, I'm sick of that shit. Like, did we you fucking send us a review. You asked for our opinion. We gave you a Especially review. Especially if you asked for our opinion. That's and he got a you submit. And he got a fast review too, because I kind of put him ahead of the queue because I at the name of it was like shy guy. I'm like, oh, that's that's unique the name is kill shy guys for the fucking project so you got a quick review amongst on top of that and then you're like defending it and like crying about it and then you try to tell us that like we're hating like and then you individually message us trying to fucking defend yourself and then apologize at the end of it like you're soft you're not gonna make it with that bullshit like so just fucking quit like i don't know what documentary fucking young kid made it story you're expecting but that's not that's not how the industry goes like so yeah, yeah like so fucking get over it like this kid's a clown <laughs> he's a clown and like that's that's just how clowns are gonna get treated like so hey you're more than welcome to come on the show and defend yourself <laughs> but i'll tell you this now he tried to type trying to tell me like oh and i put in the review i'm like yo the dude can rap there's no question he can actually rap but i put it's back-to-back -back tracks of the same flow and cadence from the beginning so I, but i did say you can rap and you're like well you said i can rap so how do you switch up and say give this album a 3.5 it's like bro you can fucking rap that doesn't mean the music's good <laughs> you know what i'm saying like kind of fucking Jim, Jim can rap, but his fucking first album is hard. fact you yeah you like find your, you can't just flat words on a paper and think that this is gonna knock. You gotta find your style and be creative yeah. with that. Yeah, making music isn't just rapping. Like it's it's a bunch. It's a bunch of elements what that go we, into. We it. always say like word salad and shit. Yeah, and his shit is exhibit like imitation exhibit word salad like the fucking pimp my ride edition. <laughs> Yo. Yeah. Like, all right. All right. <laughs> Let's not give him a whole hour section. No. Uh, yeah. He's a, but hey, he, is, he again. He's more than welcome to come defend himself. But then we got the next project by an actual rapper was Conway's was it the black tape <sighs> man yeah. the blackout tape the blackout tape oh that's what it should have been called he snapped. you gave something a garbage truck though because he didn't rap oh <laughs> <laughs> it was one of those <laughs> <laughs> it's right. like the last track you expect, you, you expect no dude it, it a lot just, of these it, songs I just like saying the names alpaca <laughs> Biscotti <laughs> biscuit, <laughs> fish fry, like there's some good Ram names. Form. <laughs> yeah, they feel good. Ow, Eight ow, birds. <laughs> pavement. <laughs> Yo, pavement's the hardest. It's such a good word, like, and it got a wave, which is hysterical to me. But like, this project is fire, man. I'm mad that it's just the on blackout tape. So yeah, mad. that's silly, but like I think it probably had something to do with clearing samples or something. Probably. Yeah, he he's been posting a lot on Instagram too that he's like working on some shit. So that's good. It's good to see him getting his cook, his chef boy ID on. So 
I rock with that. But um, keep doing you, Conway. Facts. I this did project. not get to this one, and I'm mad because I kind of wanted to. Dude, so this project. I read the review. I like. He- I head hunted for this. So sometimes, like you know, I know I got a lot of rapper friends on Facebook, and I see a lot of shit get posted, and I I'll even just grab it just against their will and throw it on the list, just to just to see, you know. <laughs> and this was one like this kid. He um he posted like uh, favorite projects of the year. And he started off with like, I'm not going to mention the Crash EP that I did because it's my project, but these are my favorite projects. And then he named a couple of weird projects, like the typical shit that you would expect people to say is their favorite of the year, like Royce and Kanye Cody, you know, shit like that. So I was like, all right, I'm going to grab this. And I was like, man, this is actually pretty dope. And you see this kid, he doesn't look like he doesn't look like he raps at all. Like he looks like he works at like a local deli. You know what I'm saying? Like, like a lot of food. Huh? Like logic, logic don't look like you, right? no, 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 no. Like way different. He's like he just he looks, looks like, like this, the uh, the kid that was working the deli counter at Publix. <laughs> yeah, like oh. he's got like he's like a like a <laughs> like a chunky like bearded white kid. Like did you just expect like probably wore skinny jeans at one stage of his life, maybe two thousand seven, two thousand eight, and it's just like, and he you know he takes like a lot of sensitive pictures like with like nice lighting, and he just looks sad all the time. So I didn't expect him to be able to rap, and he's rapping his fucking ass off like. All the, the, the stuff he, the production he's choosing is very smooth. The only thing I do say I take away from it, there's a lot of singing hooks that kind of fuck up the songs. And that's what gives a lot of the okays and like the thumbs up that are on there is because these hooks kind of throw it off. But uh, outside of that, I don't have any complaints for his raps. I think his production selection is dope. And his, uh, his features, like honestly, his features, they, they, they came with it on the, on the track. So this is a dope, just nine track thing. It, if it was on all streaming, I think it would do really good. And the artist fire and the name think, is dope. Is this is this his freshman album or this is like his freshman EP? I believe so. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, oh, it sounds good. He it's might the be able to do some good. damage. Yeah, I think I think he can actually can. I actually reached out to him. Um, I think he wants to come on the show, but like, he he was just like, yeah, I'm you know I'm working on some stuff now. He like hooked up with like some like some like local like label, and they helped put this together. So I mean the quality is good. So the the actually that label they're gonna send us some stuff to look at too. I'm like yo, if they're this kind of quality, I definitely oh, want to hear. Cool. Yeah, it's it's a, it's a good time, but um, yeah, man, that was the that was the last of the SoundClouds SoundCloud uh, Saturday, and then the last thing we posted was for Slept on Sunday Soul Food by Goody Mob. People don't realize oh, this is where CeeLo came oh. from. <laughs> yep. That brought me back, bro. It brought me because so- I expected because I, 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 <laughs> I expected something else for for Slept on Sunday because we talked about something else. I I think I forgot. That's why I just like. Oh, uh, and then you dropped that, and I was just like, "Holy shit!" Right? Doesn't like, this bring you back? One, though. Yeah, it brings it's you great, back. Great, great project. <laughs> oh, my yeah. dad, my dad was happy about that. That's how good that project was. This project was fucking great. Uh, this was like a project, like when when I when it came out back in the day. This was like a project to me that I was like, f- until like me actually going down south, I was like, "Oh, this album is the south. <laughs> like, this is what the south is." Like this album was it, and this album's fire, man. I couldn't find two. I couldn't find. <laughs> um, I couldn't find Timo, Timo, or um, the other dudes. But I found like, you know, like, like it's, that's like like on that project you got like vintage, like Big Boy and Three Stacks and all that. You know what I mean? Yeah. When they were all living in that house together, yeah, in the basement. <laughs> <laughs> it's good shit though, man. <laughs> nah, it's a dope. It's a dope fucking project. Definitely worth a re-listen because, like, listening to it now, this is a project that, like, I don't say it for a lot of hip hop, but this needs like a remaster, and I would love yes. it. Like, just, just, just spruce it up just a little bit more, you know, and it'd be fucking great. Like, CeeLo, I know you got money. All right, get this remaster. Uh, a remaster and a vinyl. <laughs> please, 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 and please get this <laughs> album art touched up a little bit. I don't like the way the font of the name is, man. It doesn't. It doesn't look. Good. <laughs> <laughs> What's CeeLo doing now? Last thing I remember from CeeLo is his cell phone blowing up in American his head. You got talent or some shit? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna Google that shit right now. What the cell phone blowing up in his head? It's hysterical. No, what? Oh. Fake. CeeLo, dude. <laughs> Still great. Oh, or him? So or him in cool. all gold? <laughs> gold CeeLo. Uh, yeah, he looks like he looks like a, uh, an Egyptian king, like, gold, <laughs> like a pharaoh. <laughs> Those fucking uh, those chocolate candies that are. In he there. put out a single this year. Oh, did he? Yeah. He's singing though. Year. He's not rapping. Yeah, no, yeah. What, he, he, he rapped on someone's project. I, I don't know if it was this year or last year, but he had a feature where he actually rapped, and I was all about it. It was recent though. 
What? Jesus Christ. <laughs> but um I mean honestly that's our that's our week, man. That's our wrap up for the week, man. We got through that and now we got um we got any means. Any I keep calling any means, bro. I'm fucking up. Any means. Any means. Any means coming on and he's gonna give us some insight of pretty much whatever we ask him. And then uh there we go. Hey. Yo yo. Hello. Hey, what's going on? Yo, what's good, man? Oh, there we go. He's nice and clear too. No, oh, man, I'm just right here. How's everything going with y'all? Oh man, we're yeah. good, man. We're good. All right, so I'm. I just got everything set up. Um, and yeah, we can get this little, this little, this little chop it up session going if that's cool with you. Excuse me. Sir. All right, let's do it. All right, bet. All right, man. So. For everyone that's gonna be listening, this is our special guest. My man, introduce yourself. Oh, uh, yo, my name is Any Means. Yes, sir. All right, man. Where you so give give we we're gonna start you off nice and simple. We're gonna see. Give us a little insight. Let's get the where you from, what you represent, all that good stuff, man. Let's get that hip hop background. I'm from I'm from LA. I'm from a city called Cudahy. Oh, that's what the tapes are all based off of. Um, shit, fuck. I've been rapping since like um '06. Okay. And and just really started kind of catching on now. Like I started off with Gorilla Black. Oh shit! And I was I was around him for probably about like maybe three years. And then you know they they didn't really do anything for me. Not not that I was expecting them to, but you know like they had um. You know discovered me I guess or whatever, but mm-hmm. nothing ever happened. And then um. Uh, there was another rapper in LA that was kind of big at the time. His name was Glass and Long. Mm-hmm. So I I ended up joining his camp. And then I spent like probably another five years with him until like, you know, he kind of like, I guess he stopped rapping and shit because he, he had a, a, a deal with Cash Money, but oh, it kind of, you know, went, it kind of went down the hill and all he that. Got so caught once the all cash that happened, slander. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> it's rough. And I just kept, you know, just doing my own thing and shit. You know what I mean? And just the music kept getting better and. And I have a lot of relationships with people, so I just kept nurturing my relationships, just making music, just keep kept Networking. going. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, that's mm-hmm. what you got to do, man. Sometimes people forget that consistency is key, man. You got to just keep going, you know. Now that's yeah, dope, you've been man. out, you've been around for a minute. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you know, like I know every, like man, I know everybody in LA that's somebody now, and that's trying to be somebody just throughout the years in the scene, like you know, shit. I I know. Kendrick, he wasn't even Kendrick when I met him. They called him K Dot, mm-hmm. and uh, you know, same thing with Rocky, with J Rock, with fuck Glasses Malone, and anybody in that whole era. Like I know them all. You know what I mean? We all came up together. Oh shit, that's humble, humble that's brag. Humble yeah, humble brag. Yeah, exactly. Not humble brag, but we appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, that's dope. Slight, yeah, that's like fucks. <laughs> nah, that's fucking dope. That's dope, man. Yo, man. So, so. uh one, I know you you spotted our page from the tag from the um what was it, the Riff Raff project, right? Yeah, 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 that's right. <laughs> Dude, that project was <laughs> That project was wild. That man. was rough. That was rough. No disrespect <laughs> to your man. <laughs> yeah, no disrespect. Like, you know what it was? Um I know one of my, one of my uh like a mutual acquaintance I have mm. from like my homies and shit, right? Is um they they do they do like a they got like a label. Uh, they're a part of an independent label called Bag Talk, mm-hmm. and um, they just put out like a lot of like a lot of material. Like they might go to and put out like a Stolly album, or you know that like yeah, you know them B side albums people be putting out and shit, right? Oh so, yeah, 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 because they have them like um, they have like the rights to them and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they needed rappers, and they and they were like, "Yo, um, slide through and give me a verse on this project," and I was like. <laughs> I was like, yeah, okay. all right, man. You know what I mean? Like, like I wasn't really whatever. feeling it because I don't, I don't even like riff raff like that, right? So, um, <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> the homie finally got me to the studio, and he was like, he was like, man, you just drop a verse. So I said, all right, fuck. So I put the verse on it. I thought the verse was good. That's, no, that's the, what caught see, my attention. No, yeah, the verse, the verse was good, but that like that one, that song is crazy. But like that project, like. 
you know, um, like being doing the whole the whole critic thing, like us just bumping projects. Some things like after like that that song was like middle of the middle of that project, bro, and it was just a lot, man. It was a lot hey, to take I, in. I mean, it's it was crazy a journey too. to get to. <laughs> It's crazy too, cause it's like that fool got like a legitimate fan base. Cause oh yeah, I see people like commenting and they were geeked off of the whole project. Some people, you know what I'm saying. Hey, hey, man, it is what it is. I mean, not did you get to actually guy. meet Riff Raff? No, 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 no. I've never met him and shit. Oh, it was okay. like, yeah, it was, oh, yeah. Uh, it was, it was like, it was like yeah. he had the, it was like that label. They had the rights to all those those songs. You feel me? Oh, like, I see. Okay, like they bought him, like they bought the album from him. Mm. And he just sent them the songs or whatever, so they could do whatever think, they like, want with it. Yeah, yeah, he didn't complete some of the songs. I believe was the issue, so mm. they just contacted other artists or people that they knew. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, that makes see that completely that makes sense. That, yeah, that, that, <laughs> that proves everything. Yeah, so so that that that's how I got on there. You know what I'm saying? But, oh, okay. Yeah, hey, I, man, I, salute I to that. Me. People be following me because of that shit and be like, yo, I heard you on Riff Rap album. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's what's up. <laughs> I mean, at hey, the end of the exposure. day, like, you get on it, a crazy it, it, song. It, 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 it you brings you a totally different demographic. Yeah, you want to capitalize on a feature. You know what I'm saying? Like, you featured on an artist who's up there. Like, he, he has a crazy following. And you did your thing. If people are coming from that project to you, like, yo, this is dope. I mean, that's not yet. Herbs, man. I might new. For, yeah, because that, that's, you know, my, my style of rap is a little different and shit. Same. Yeah, but, yeah, um, it, it definitely stands out like on his project because he's he, he's he's always been all over the place though. But he's doing like the more new age type stuff. But you have like this old school like raw, but like realistic raw, like your shit is believable as fuck. Like everything you're talking about, I'm like, all right, I know he's doing this shit. I know he knows about this. So that's that's kind of <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Because sometimes you hear yeah. like artists rap about shit and you're just like, all right, he's just rapping. But like some projects, you're like, all right, I can feel this. This is real to me. This is clearly real to him. So I'm, I'm on board. Like this is, this is dope. Like this is hip hop. Like authenticity. Yeah. Nah, like um, fuck. I put out like um, like five albums and like within like the last fifteen months. Sure. Jesus, fuck, no. working. Yeah. All um, all hip hop dot com. They rated one of my albums. They rated like an eight point five rating. Sure. Hey, that's and, pretty um, good. Yeah, that's dope. That's actually really good. Like um. LA Weekly covered me. Orange County Weekly covered me. Um, Sway in the morning, they they covered me a little bit. Oh shit! Oh, you got look. You didn't get to. You didn't get to. You ain't, you ain't do the five fingers of depth. <laughs> you didn't get to go. Nah, that nah, far. I haven't got there yet. I'm 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 hoping that I, I can get there before the end of the year. You, know what you think you could do like, the five um, fingers of depth? Five fingers yeah, of depth. Yeah, man, serious, I, man. I, I, yeah, man. Nah, I don't know. Sometimes I sit there and I'm just like, Whoa. Dude, that that's yeah, like. Uh, I, you know, I, I came up in the era where like. People was real, still like MCs, so I'm, mm-hmm. I'm I'm ready for all that shit. Okay, you know? all right. See the see the thing. I, just, I like the stuff like the Five Fingers of Death. Like you know, I write myself. I, I put out music too, but like to me, it's like the perfect crossover for like the new age kind of online type thing. But it brings back that old school thing. It's kind of like a gauntlet to me. To me, it's like a rite of passage. So for the old school, I know there's a lot of old school heads are like, yo, I'm just gonna come out and rap. But then there's dudes who are like, yo, I'm going to prepare something specifically for the five fingers so I can get that. Because, like, you know what happens when someone murders the five fingers they're They got a career for the next three, four months. Yep. You know Absolutely. what I'm saying? Like, that's it. That shit is everybody's going to be talking about. Yeah. Them. You know, like so that shit to me, I'm like, yo, that's one of my dreams. But it's also like it, 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 it's a fear as well. It's like, fuck, you know it's what daunting. I'm saying? Yeah, it's very daunting, bro. Because if, just... if you don't body it, your career is over. <laughs> for for three, four no, months. No, I, got... <laughs> no, I get it. I get it. I, but yeah. Tory Lanez, he killed one of them recently. Huh? He, but see, his his was dope, but his got eaten apart by the, the internet world because they found mm-hmm. all these bars that he took from other freestyles. People fucking, like, fine tooth and comb. Like, they investigated that shit. Like, people, and that shit kind of hurt his album a little bit. Not as much. His album still did good, but it... If you anywhere you see his album, there's people fucking with him. Like there's, you know what I'm saying, and like everybody is trolling. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, I feel like he lost buzz because um, when he, his very first album came out, I bought the shit and I was on it heavy, right? Mm. His, his new album, I didn't even pick it up. I haven't even heard it at all. Like, yeah, it's long. <laughs> it's it's pretty I'm, good, but it, it, it's uh, it's whatever. Tory Lanez had a cool buzz, but I think it was just the buzz because even after that, it's like no one really fucks with Tory Lanez right now, like that. 
Oh, it's it's a lot of the, he pulls a lot of fuckery. Man. Comfortable. He pulls a yeah, lot of fuckery. Exactly. His, <laughs> his forehead makes me very uncomfortable. Oh yeah, you don't know where it begins <laughs> or ends. Hey, he looks like one of them little pygmy kids. <laughs> he looks like a beluga. <laughs> <laughs> one of them dolphins Fact. with the big ass forehead. Fact, like he was born Ooh. with telekinesis. Like a plesiosaurus <laughs> and shit on a big ass forehead. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <the> roasting <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, you go, know, you go right? curse us out. Hey, hey, well, nah, but um, yeah. So you know, I I, I got a joint with uh, to- I mean with uh, Troy Avenue. That yeah, song, that's really dope. Yeah, we saw. Yeah, it, we man. fuck with it. I, I mean, I mean, I I did the review on the project. Like, I fuck with it, but we all listen to like the projects that you know before we do because on on the episodes we run through all the reviews that we put out for the week. We are doing our consistency thing, but we all bumped it. Like, I we even if like. We, we never give out like a like we're not getting paid all we're never giving out little shit that we don't mean you know what i'm saying so we're not giving a review off of people being like oh you're cool or we got to follow not nah, like we giving a straight up review and that review i put out for yours is a dead ass review i'm like yo this is how i feel the review the project was dope like it just is what it is like you fucking did your thing like it's a complete project and i told you when i bumped the first one i'm like yo i fucked with the first one too like like it is what it is no man. that that's ill right there you know what it, I, that that song that um I know y'all wasn't feeling the the last song. I thought the song was hard, though, in my opinion. I thought it was hard. Uh, which one? Oh, I think I know which one you're talking about. Um, what you know about it? Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, hey, man, I mean, I, I, end of the day, some stuff, some stuff just don't hit, man. Some stuff just all, don't hit, All man. I'm going to say is that sometimes we, it's, indiv- it's, re- it's reviewed individually, so sometimes yeah. we don't all agree. Yeah. Yeah. And to me, I mean, I'm going to keep it a buck. Like, I'm like, ah, song gets a little boring for me. I'm, I'm kind of, you know, I kind of hit the snooze button on it a couple times, so I'm like, ah. No, no, that's my man's on there, too. <laughs> Smoke <laughs> major? So I'm like, that's my boy. <laughs> it's all love, like, though. Chill, chill, chill. <laughs> it's, all, it's all love. I mean, it is what it is, man. It's all love. It's, I'm not saying this shit like, yo, I hate that. I'm like, you know, we just we just being critics, you know what I'm saying? But we're being honest. Like, just it's all based on how we feel at that moment when we listen to it. You know what I'm saying? No, no, I get, I get it. Yeah, because like a lot of the shit you see, like a lot of the shit online, you see these reviews. These cats are using all these big words. They write in full like essays on it, and it's like it doesn't feel real. It's like bullshit reviews. You know what I'm saying? So we just like, yo, we want to keep it to the point where if you're chopping it up with your homeboy about an album, that's the kind of review you're gonna give your homeboy. We want to give that to people that you know that check out the page. And nah, I don't fuck st- with it. Mm-hmm. I don't mind. I don't mind the reviews because I'm hella arrogant and I feel like I rap good. So I just want to hear people praise the music. <laughs> hey, as, as you should, <laughs> as an artist, hey, man, you, you should. got a good review overall. Exactly. You yeah, got you, got you got a good. You got a great that, review. And so, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you, you know, got that stamp. It, it could have been. A- it could have been on the bad side, like Yo. the man's rap. <laughs> no, no, I get it. Hey, but you know what? I'll be 100 with you. I'm always confident that, like, because I feel like I give it my, my all, you know? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. I, feel, I, I always be comfortable. Like, I'm never afraid to let anybody review it because I feel like it's always, like, you know. It's quality. Yeah, it's shit. quality. You, if you put your all, then you get, like, the quality you give out, you're going to get that back. Like, we get a lot of people that will fucking fight to the depths about some project and like argue with us but they're not even defending the the project they're just mad we gave it a bad review so they're crying yeah. to us or trying to curse us out and all that bullshit and it's like bro like you're, you're, we didn't ask for your feelings like we just did a review yeah, and that's it like fan, yeah dude. but like we can yeah it's like yo, it if you feel like if you feel like you put your all in something and it got a bad review then you're like hey fuck it this is criticism but like if you didn't put your all into it and you're gonna cry about it it's like yo we can smell that shit like that's just bullshit now that's the thing, right? It's like there's a shortage of quality music. Dude. Like Fact. current day, like nobody makes quality albums. There's no more classics. Like, yeah, I don't think Pusha T's album is a classic either. I'll be 100. With you. Me neither. It's that too short. Overused. It's too short. Yeah. <laughs> it's an EP. Yeah. Fuck what anybody says. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. too short. You know, yeah, every, it's an EP, and the word classic is definitely overused. Yeah, it's now. one. Yeah, it's an. It's it's like everything it's an that drops is a classic. And yeah, people abuse that. Like when a project, if we want to call something classic, it's got to give you everything. You know what I'm saying? It's got to give you story. It's got to tie together. It doesn't have to sound like, let me pick the best five songs out of 300 and then call it a project. Nah, it's got to come together like you worked on this one project. You know what I'm saying? You got to feel it like you made a actual full complete project. That's that's a classic if it sounds good on top of that. But mm-hmm. this this generation yeah, is just bullshit. And then, uh- I mean, he definitely put Drake. But I feel like that might be. That's not a classic disc, but I mean, it's it's a it's a it's a good disc. Yeah, right? it was a good disc, but it wasn't solid. it wasn't like it wasn't second it round it was knockout. It wasn't cannabis coming at LL. Like it wasn't ether. Like it wasn't fucking. 
fuck Jay Z. What's <laughs> yeah. up, my nigga? Yeah. Like, I don't man. know what happened. What happened to Drake though? He got served on. Oh man. I mean, I don't thing. want to say too much, but I feel like Jay Prince is bluffing. <laughs> well, well, right, see, Jay right. Prince. Is I don't want definitely, no smoke, though. It's it's yeah. I was about to say it's <laughs> it's definitely a, a fine smoke. line between like Jay Prince protecting his asset, but also promoting his book. So ghost lines and ghost tracks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think Jay Prince is like he's he, he on top of him. Like, hey, let me protect the little brother. It's kind of like your older brother. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't fight my brother. You know, he will whoop your ass. But I'm not gonna let you fight him. It's kind of like that kind of deal. You know. So it's a dog. Actually, like, yeah, fucking, he, he did get roasted. I ain't gonna he lie. He got cooked. Oh, yeah. Uh, he got, <laughs> he got he exposed. Got he got exposed. He got people that posting got baby moms and Farquaad in the same picture. It's fucked up, man. Of it. <laughs> hey, but then again, right? Like, I feel like, um, like, there wouldn't, Drake wouldn't be anywhere, like, if it was, like, in, in the mid, in the early 90s when, like, hip hop and lyrics was on point point. Like, mm-hmm. I don't even think Pusha T would have been relevant like that because he's just not, like, a Nas or a Biggie. Yeah, you you got to think right. Like all these great lyricists, like they all competed against each other at one time, like at at, at one moment in time. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It yeah. wasn't like like nowadays. It's like you have one dope artist, someone like Kendrick. Like would Kendrick even be Kendrick if he had to compete in that nah. realm in that circle? Nah, no, like, it's a different gauntlet. Yeah. You think it was there? Yeah, like honestly, like the generation now, the people that are top now couldn't go against everyone that buzzed in '95. Period. You no know what I'm way. saying? Like '95 alone, like every artist that came out in '95 was just all around just a better artist. Period. Like, but I mean, yeah, the the craft in the in the in the talent level was just out of here right it was because it was well, it was they, raw they took, it was they took real. their time but it wasn't even they just wanted, that they, they, they just wanted to rap they competed like they back in the day you heard a you heard a track with multiple artists from different camps on it it was never like oh man this is just okay like they were trying to out rap each other like they were trying to kill each other in the most like civil way on a track <laughs> like that's the shit that you want like like I yeah, fucking, real talk. There, yeah. There's none of that shit left, really. True. Nah, people are nah. people cry over competition, bro. That shit's wild. People but, um, cry over criticism. You know how many times <laughs> we get blocked? <laughs> yeah, we get blocked often. Daily, daily DMs, blocks, all that good stuff. Fuck it. I mean, it Duh, is, man, it is. it's a excuse me. Um, <laughs> it's a breath of fresh air just to meet people that really rate hip hop, like. Yeah, you know, realistically and shit, right? Yeah, like, we, I feel like yeah, we um, take that shit serious. Yeah, we like do. let's say for instance, right? Like I've been in LA, I've been doing my shit for a long time. Like when you Google my name, you can see that I had got, I got a lot of accomplishments from interviews on websites. I was on like this is fifty dot com before, mm-hmm. just so many different things. But um, popularity overrides talent. You feel what I'm saying? Like now actually, in this generation, I'm, I'm yeah. probably not the most popular person in the LA scene. So you never heard of me, but I know people that I'll run to the ground, but they're more popular than me, so you know exactly who they are. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's mm-hmm. just that's just generation, man. It's all about it's all about flash, man, you know. You spray paint a piece of shit gold and that's what the people love because it's it's gold, it's in pictures, it's got filters and all that bullshit. <laughs> Still shit, awesome though. Takashi shit, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Hey, he's eight, he's he's gonna be he's gonna be what is he seven for seven right yeah, now? He's about to be they got to pay for that. Though. I swear, they're paying for that somewhere. Somebody's paying something. Nah, bro, it's the controversy. It's yeah, all the little he's, kids. He's like shit. he's like yes. him tr- it's him trolling. You know what he reminds me Con- of? Controversy sells. Huh. I don't know if you guys ever watched like you guys if you guys are fans of MMA, right? I don't yeah. know if anybody. Yeah, yeah. So you know Chel Sonnen, right? Chel Sonnen yeah. was the dude that fought Anderson Silva twice and lost twice for the chip. Chel Sonnen yeah. got two back-to-back championship fights with Anderson Silva with a losing record because he talked shit. That's what Takashi Six, six Nine is like. Chel Sonnen so talked his way yeah. into that. He he controversy. He caused so much stir that people needed to see the fight off the premise of like he's talking so much shit. We we need to know who this guy is because like you're talking about like Instagram's been around, like Instagram Live's been around for such a long time not such a long time for an extended period of time. Him mm. and Trippy Red literally hold the record for most views. Oh, think most people that. to join a live, and all they were think doing was cursing that. at each other. It's crazy. It's not even that. Takashi's on TMZ. That means that like white suburban moms know. <laughs> who he is. Yeah, that's yep, true. That's crazy. Oh, that rainbow-haired fella. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. 
and then you Riding put and you put something in the, like in the that. Red rag, in, the, in the red rag Yukon. Oh something. my god, yeah, it's it's crazy. Bro, he's really out here though. He's fucking crazy. Yeah, I don't know how bro, he has been yeah. shot. Yeah, he's really so trying to be out here. Definitely, somebody's gonna off that dude. Like, oh yeah, it's a matter hey. of time. I feel sorry for him. I'm kind of with Vince Staples on this one. <laughs> yeah, you need someone has to go. But see, what's crazy is like, it, what's dies. the crazy thing about Nobody it? Nobody dies. Don't call me. As much as uh -huh. we think, like, oh man, he's gonna get off and this and that. A lot of these dudes that are claiming they're gonna do it, these like high-ranking like gangsters and whatnot, these dudes aren't gonna do it because they're just using it to get that online clout too. They're like these on. dudes, yeah, these like, because are you chasing. you really gonna post a video with you with a strap talking about if he comes around my way he's gonna die? You just convicted. You just in, you know you incriminated yourself. Hey, so these dudes aren't gonna do it. The motherfucker who did that he would go mad viral. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, he'd immediately go to prison. No, okay. When this first started, <laughs> there was a guy. He was West Coast. What is his name? OG Spanky. Oh whatever. yeah. He, I, know, he, I know. I know who Spanky local is. I know him personally. Okay, so yeah. okay, so you know that he like as soon as this whole Takashi thing started, he put out a video right off rip, and he was like, "Oh, he didn't check in with me." Blah blah. blah. Like yeah. That's he was trying to he was trying to ride that clout wave. You know. What I no, mean? no. But you got to look too though. The one thing about. Like okay, with Spanky Loco, like I know who he is, all that, right? Like mm -hmm. he's, he's, a, he's, he's a real, he's, 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 look, he's, yeah. He's, you know what I mean? This this is this is the difference between like Mexicans, <laughs> and 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 this, and this boil this boils down not only in the rap game but in the street game in general mm -hmm. between Mexicans and blacks in the street game, and in the rap game, right? Like, let's say for instance, somebody like Spanky Loco, like even though I, I don't. Do I believe he did it for some clout? Yeah, I believe people do it for clout, all, no matter who they are and how mm. reputable they are, right? Mm. But on the flip side of that, he's going to be held accountable more by the Mexican gang community mm -hmm. than any black fool would because they're real, there's real life like rules and codes in the Mexican yeah. gang community. Okay. You get what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Somebody like Takashi is a no-fly in the Mexican gang community because... Under any circumstances, is a Mexican man allowed to be from a, a black gang? So let's say, for instance, like Takashi went to prison or the county jail in Los Angeles, mm. and he's a Mexican man that says he's a blood. Somebody's gonna kill him. That's yeah. a fact. Yeah, yeah. You feel oh, what I'm saying? Shit. So yeah, it's yeah. like <laughs> when <laughs> when someone like Spanky Loco says, "Hey, fuck this fool. He's a child molester. I'm gonna get him." He's being really held accountable for that in real life, like. Because mm. it's so just different so rules. So like, he, he, he's really out here, you know. What I mean? He's really yeah. To it's just stuff. it's just different rules for him because of what he represents in his politics mm. and how those type of charges and that yeah. type of person is looked at. So when he speaks up, like, "Oh, you're a bitch. I'm gonna do this." He's he really if he has the opportunity, you best believe he's gonna have to do something because he spoke up on because like, yeah, because he brought it, he brought it to the yeah, attention. Yeah, yeah, he brought it. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So I, I always. Like, I always knew he was doing it for clout, but I also always knew that if he had the opportunity, he's going to have to do something in real life. Yeah. You know okay, yeah, that's the difference. A lot of these dudes, like, some of these dudes, like, or with the anyone with more colors in their hair as him or same amount of colors as him these dudes with their guns and shit like these dudes running in that hotel asking for his name like shit like that is clout wave bullshit but i get what you're <laughs> saying you know what i'm saying like it's like some of that yeah. stuff is a little over the top it's like come on relax like this dude came and played as, as you know a set in your favorite bar and like your favorite venue and you didn't do anything yeah exactly he was yeah. in your city and you did what yeah. Hey, he still hasn't really. I, I know he was in AOD, and they were like throwing shit at him. And all yeah. That, so. Yeah. I, <laughs> you gotta you gotta watch out, man. These these famous dudes got like, and they got the they got the other gang on them. They got the the young white girl community as they fans, and those girls is dangerous, bro. That's yeah, <laughs> true. Hey, true. You know dangerous. what it is too, though, right? It's like you don't even know what to believe anymore, bro. Because it's like you see all these people on on the net, right? And they're mm. like, "Yo, I'm getting bands. I'm doing shows. I'm doing this." Mm. Then you find out the jewelry not real. Oh yeah, it's like they're broke. The game has gotten even <laughs> faker because at least before it was fake in the aspect of like people probably get advancements. They go buy waste their money on mm -hmm. jewelry and then they're broke. Like it's now current day. Like motherfuckers is just broke off the rip. Oh yeah, so, oh yeah. And then they and then they just get broker like. A lot of these dudes, a lot of these young cats will sell their soul for like a 360 deal that gets them no money because it guarantees them a million follows on Instagram and they don't they don't necessarily know what that means. So it's like it's 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 crazy, but it's it's also it, it's a it's a marketing strategy because 
you show all these young dumb kids or these kids that don't know what to do in the world that it's that easy to come up and do all this stuff then you have everyone fooled so while you're out here broke making that image the people who are funding these things they're making all the money they're taking all the money from these kids like it's a cycle you know what i'm saying yeah uh, yeah like little tay and all that right oh man she's gone she like took all her pictures down she she's like she hasn't done anything in a minute oh, her mom grounded her oh man i was feeling little tay too because she was flossing on Yo, the that's, a right? that's a fact <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's a I fact that's a fact yo fucking little tay's wilding i'm feeling this shit. <laughs> she's calling everybody broke yeah. yo, i respect that yeah i was I'm like little this tay. little chinese girl <laughs> but uh so i got a question for you so yes sir. out of these uh all right i'm gonna pick i'm gonna do out of any current artist right now from worst to to like actually most talented who would you want to work with you know what? Um, most of the people that I'm interested in working in with right now are like mostly like East Coast underground rappers. Like okay, um, like I'm I reached out to a dude named uh, I don't know if you know who he is. His name is Neek Bucks. Mm -mm. I reached out to him. He's from New York. I already worked with Troy. I have um, I'm um I already talked to Benny the Butcher too. Like me and him have conversated. So he he just had a what what project was he on, John? That he he was he was on something recent. Line. Yeah, he was just on uh, something. I forgot. Oh, he was on that lunch meet EP. Oh yeah 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Alchemist. The Alchemist. Yeah, project. he yeah he blacked out. Yeah, I remember that. Yep. <laughs> so I was there. <laughs> so I'm uh, um you know I'm me and Benny the Butcher gonna do something pretty soon and uh, that's really all I'm looking for like. Cause my thing is like I'm looking for the collabs. I'm looking for the for the competition factor of it, and mm -hmm. you know, as as an MC, just trying to get better. So putting myself in situations where okay. MCs that are dope as me are even better, just to sharpen my sword. You so, know what I'm saying? So, so who's a top tier artist though that you think would like definitely like someone that probably right now you'd be like, all right, they're probably way out of reach or way out of budget. Like, who's a top tier artist? Like kind of like a Royce or someone that you'd be like, yo, I would definitely work with them though, because I feel like they would sharpen that pen. I mean, um, if, if if it's like a younger generation, I would say like Dave Beast and um, mm. that would be like a dream time. collab, I guess, would be Nas because that's my favorite rapper of all time. Hey. That's so, a good answer. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah very, very. <laughs> you know, with with Nas though, apparently you can't. He doesn't write first. You have to write something first. So you just have to succumb to a loss when you feature with him. <laughs> <laughs> no, I get it. I get it. Uh, like, just have it ready, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's that's you have the to black out, but no, that Nas is gonna black out even harder. <laughs> but if uh, if if, I mean, if damn, it, just to have a feature with Nas, even if he just does does the intro, is like that's money, right? That's there. fire, yeah. Oh man, that's yeah, everybody's. That's that's on but like I mean, that's on accolades list for like most rappers. Period. <laughs> if you don't have that on your list, then like, what are you rapping for? Like I, I try to I try to collab as much as possible. Like right now, my biggest thing was just collaborating with producers. So, mm. like in in um in California, like I've 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 done records with Al Fingers, I've done records with um C Ballin, I've done records with the Mechanics. Nice. Um, DJ Official from Ten Summers. Mm. Um, and I'm looking to work with um like DJ Fresh and Tracks a Million, just to kind of like clear that whole bay area vibe you that's know what I'm dope saying? hey man it's good to work with different producers too because like it you just don't understand the sound you can get like <laughs> until you hear it you know see that's my thing too is like, it's like it's hard for me to do um collaborations with like other artists. like oh, all the artists that, that you hear on the album mm -hmm. like i know them personally like we're friends like real life friends yeah aside from the 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 troy avenue feature right so mm -hmm. I just I just been rapping with the same circle of people for so many years, so it's it's like I get into these zones where I'm creating songs, and I just don't, don't really hear nobody else on it, either myself or like my immediate circle. So I'm trying to break out of that right now. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like it's do it's always dope to keep within the circle, but like you don't know what you're missing out on if you don't go like reach out a little bit more. Yeah. No, nah, but you... I'm definitely looking for like a G Perico verse too. You know Ooh, what I'm saying? Oh, that'd be fire. You ever um? So would you would you would you collaborate with Takashi if that ever came out? <laughs> no, no, I, I definitely could never collaborate with him just due to like um. Yeah, he's just a due to my, my my street ties off the rip. I could never do that. Oh, uh, good. That's a good thing because a lot of people will sell their soul a good for look. that feature. A lot of people will sell their soul for people that. People have all those people are trying to sell their souls to get them on. Dude, it's sad, man. So nah, I'm telling you, man, it's like. 
just for the charges in California, like it's, it's like if you it, like, I'm not necessarily like the most active gang member. You know, I'm not gonna paint that picture for y'all. But I mean, I could definitely end up in jail for some. You know what I'm saying? And if I do, then I would have to explain to people why I'm rapping with a child molester. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. And then. So that that could never happen for me. <laughs> That's good though, man. It's good to have you. You gotta, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, at least you have like a, you know, you have your moral stance. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're not gonna, you're not gonna budge. Yeah. I mean, not only that, but it just shows like the level of streets that these artists claim to be on and what they really are on. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Because, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. They, it's just they fake it till they make it. Yeah. Yeah, it's like the streets is not as prevalent in hip hop as it once was, and um, you know your the reputation factor isn't as big as it once was. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Before, you couldn't be a rapper if you had some type of weird old smudge shit on your jacket. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nah, that makes sense. So, any um, so, any old school artists in mind that you would like, that you would rap with? Like, any of them old cats like Master Ace Nas. are still rapping? Well, Nas is Besides like... Besides Nas, um, it would have been Prodigy from Mob Deep, but he mm, passed away. Uh, oh, Nas, Rips. in peace. Those those are my Rip. main influence in the game was always like for some reason I grew up listening to like East Coast hip hop so I just always um like for some reason was drawn to like Queensbridge artists you know what I'm saying yeah oh yeah Queensbridge was the that tone sound chapter, man it's very very different sound but also, like real dark you know what I'm saying yeah oh yeah um Sebo for the West Coast though I wouldn't mind rapping with Sebo and Tony Yayo though. Hey, that, Tony Yeo, I, wow. for, yeah. I've never heard anybody He's rising from his crypt right now. You <laughs> heard somebody wants to have a feature with him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who want to rap? Let's rap. I have never. Uh, hey, this Tony goes Yeo down in history. On. He's hard as fuck. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, he's he's pretty <laughs> slept on. I give him that. He killed game on his own shit. <laughs> yeah, that's true. As much as on, a lot of people on, won't on the admit documentary it. Documentary that the... that he got with game. He killed game. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> you know what I'm it's just I've never heard anyone re- like in bring my, it know, in, in my, my existence. Life. Yeah, never. I, I respect that 100. percent That's how you know someone like <laughs> listens to rap, though. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I, I came up with that the other day, right? I was driving and I was like, "Man, who would sound dope on this song?" And I was like, "You know, Tony Yeo would be hard." Like, you should have hit him up. Yo, hit him up. I feel like nothing. you could. I feel like you could make that happen, man. I feel like no, I yeah, most definitely. Happen. Um, I just haven't. I haven't. This is my thing, right? Like, I feel like pretty much whatever I set out to do, I could do it. I, if I, you know, like if I envision it in my mind, I know I can make it happen. You yeah, know what I'm saying I just haven't took the steps to make it happen, but I think I think I can. I'm I'm very confident that I could probably get them on song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I and I think it would. I think it would sound dope, honestly. Absolutely. Yeah, I think it would sound dope. <laughs> so um, you, you you know what it is too is like um. You just have to imagine what you want to hear these certain artists on. Like, I hear rappers because I, 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 um, like, I pick my own beats and shit, right? Mm. And, um, you know, a lot of people, they like my beat selection. So I always think, like, wow, if I had this artist and I put him on this song, like, what would his, his um, you know, how would it look and how would it sound? I, yeah. I think I, I could pick dope beats for him to rap on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because a lot of a lot of people, you could tell it's like industry plugged in. Like a lot of like labels are like, oh, you need this person on there because they just need to be industry on your album. Plan. So it doesn't sound good. Like some people, like I don't know why people till this day pick G Easy to rap on anything, but like on certain beats, oh it just doesn't God. sound good. Audio, G Sleepy, G Easy. He's hella whack. Huh? He's whack. But like he's he, the saltine cracker of rap. Who, who was that? <laughs> Instead of salt, it's coke. No, but um. Audio, on, no. uh, who, is, who produced the who produced that beat on Rapture? It was like a fire producer that he it got was to rap fucking on that. Just Blaze, Just Blaze, and like Jeezy does just not. Just Blaze, I was pissed. He I shouldn't be like, rapping what? on a Just Blaze project. John, like beat. John, uh, random disclaimer: our friend, our mutual friend, thought that uh, Jeezy blacked out on that track. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, no stupid. comment. No clout. No no sharing. Ooh, Cardi clout. B's on no, that no, record no, too, no. right? No, 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 no. She, she's not on that record. Oh, no, no. no, but this, but the, this, this project you know, is dope. It's got um, Nas track on it, Dave East track on it, yeah. like Ti Rhapsody. It's a fire EP. It's a fire EP. But there's just one track with Jeezy on a Just Blaze beat, and he's not giving it the it's justice such a it fire deserves. Beat too. He's so, laying down in the booth. 
Yeah, it's crazy. He's just real. laying down. <laughs> like they gave him the audio files and he poured water on it. That's literally all yeah. he did. <laughs> That's so bad. No. It's just word salad for three minutes. Oh, it's bad. Oh, but speaking of uh, speaking of any legendary producers, who would you rock with? Um, who have I? Let me see. Who have I? Uh, well, I mean, probably the the most the most um, biggest producer that I've worked with mm-hmm. to date is um, is C Ballin. He produced um, he pro- he produced uh, uh, I'm a Do It by YG. Is that is that is mm. that the name of it or I'm a Do It? The one with um. Where they remixed uh, "Let's Play House Beat," the, the oh. one that was like a smash hit. Okay. Okay. So he produced that. Um, I worked with another producer named D Salis that he used to um, play with a band called Tierra a long time ago. Mm. They're like a like a famous rock band from like the '70s. So nice. That's probably his, about as legend. Oh, well, I was in the track yeah, master studio. Not about that. Pro- that I bet that production was groovy. Yeah, it was definitely well. clean as hell. <laughs> yeah, um, well, I was with the Trackmasters the other day too, so they're probably. I'm, I'm hoping I can get one of their beats, so that mm. that probably be as legendary as I get right. Now. Oh, true. Who uh, who is like who a dream you, who producer? Would who would you want to work with? Like, who, like, yeah, who would you want to work with? Um, without sounding too cliche and shit, right? <laughs> um, because I, I know there's a, there's probably that go-to answer, and shit, right? Um, <laughs> DJ Khaled. The, um, are, you, are you guys familiar? Are you guys familiar with a, with a guy named Fora? Yeah, 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 yeah. I know Fora. He, uh, that, that's that that young cat who raps too, right? Yeah, he he has a he has a producer, mm. or or he used to. I don't think they they work together no more. But his name is Escupe, and he's a really really dope like um like soul sample cat. You oh feel me? shit. Like, like that early Kanye shit, like you, you feel oh, me before yeah. it got all watered down. Oh, that yeah. good, them, them good, yeah. them them samples you felt in your body, them good shit. Yeah, okay. I would like to get in the, in a studio and do like an EP or album with him, oh, or, or just a... Blaze, you know. But oh, like yeah. <clears throat> that form of just Blaze, like that real soul sample, fucking NPC when vibe. Was, you know, yeah. when he was driving around in his red and black expedition on Pleasant uh, <laughs> Road. Yeah, Florida. Was, Florida. He's a Florida boy. Yeah, you know, he grew up down the block from me and James, that kind of stuff. Yeah, that that you know that that's the type of vibe that I try to own. Um, you know, like when I create my projects current day, like I try to keep them like a little old but new at the same time. Yeah, you know? yeah. You yeah. want to keep up, but you don't want to lose what you what you're what you like to do. Like you keep it; it's still your yeah. sound. So it's like you know, like like let's say for instance, like um. I rap over a lot of West Coast sounding beats too, but mm-hmm. most people know like I, I didn't grow up listening to West Coast music, but mm. just just growing up out here in the West Coast, the vibe in the in the in the in the uh, just the 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 marriage between the artists and them type of beats are just just natural. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So um, that's what it, a lot of these new guys don't. It's easy for me to rap over those like. beats, but but I'm still always looking for that real gritty, dirty sound. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, a lot of these. That's what the, a lot of these new cats don't do. They just like the boring club type track shit, and they just say the same shit. And like they don't really want to like actually make it meaningful. You know what I'm saying? They just want hey, Some DJ people don't take chances. And, yeah, it's fucking it's, it's it's ruining it's ruining music to an extent, but I mean it is what it is. But nah, that's dope, dude. That's fucking dope. So um, this uh this new project, man. What's what's the what's the game plan for? Are you doing any you doing any any risky tours? You doing anything big with it? Yeah, um, there's a song on there called Low Key that I did with a dude named Daniel Peter, mm-hmm. and um, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna run it up and down the coast to like the radio stations. Yeah, because um. Old I had a, I had a song that was on the radio about two years ago called like the West Side. It was like a mix mix show rotation up and down the state. So I feel like that's a strong enough single. So I still have a lot of relationships that I made from that initial run with that song. And um, you know I've always kept my relationships fresh. So I'm gonna go back up 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 the coast and run it back down and see what we could do with it. You know what I mean I yeah. got a couple guarantees from certain stations that they're going to give me a couple of spins. So we nice. just going to put it out there to see what happens with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I don't yeah, know yeah. if it catches. Up or not. Yeah, man. We hope, hey, man, we hope it, it does fucking catch. We hope it. Yeah, absolutely. We definitely hope it catches. Dope, 
You doing any like yeah. um, shows, like any shows with it? Like you doing any, you coming out to um, New York or anything like that? I'm hoping to get to New York. That That's the biggest thing right now is that um, we're trying to figure out how I can get out there. So we just, we, we're looking for the plugs, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay. And we're trying to get to like Sway. And, oh, hell yeah. You know, yeah. different straight 45 stations. But um, yeah, I mean, I have a legitimate plan, you know, it's, that's the thing is like a lot of people starting to get to know me, but I've been here for a long time. So, mm. so it's like a lot of my views on YouTube, they starting to pick up. I'm like 40,000 on each video right now. You know? uh, that's good, man. You're working, man. That that consistency that yeah. pays off, man. You're working. So so that that's basically what I'm doing with this album, just trying to get to New York and pushing a single to mm. see how far we could do with it. But mm. this is the main thing that like, um, you know, not to get off topic, but... You know, when I talk to artists, because um, I meet a lot of artists that are barely in the game mm. and haven't necessarily had as much experience in the game as me. Mm. So my main thing is like telling people like the biggest thing for an independent artist, in my opinion, is just catalog. You feel what I'm saying? So, yeah. Um, you know, I got I got maybe like three albums on Spotify right now. People are streaming them. So I'm getting paid off that. And then I created a, 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 a brand clothing brand called American Dope Boy Apparel mm -hmm. and I sell a lot oh, of that good name. Too. Yeah, it's dope. You know what I'm saying? Like I sell a lot of hoodies, I sell a lot of t-shirts, people buy them. Oh yeah. So I've been able to create basically my own uh, my own little economy where I'm doing like anywhere from like a thousand to fifteen hundred a month just off of like streaming, the mm -hmm. the the merch, like everything just connected. Yeah. Features. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And, and that's good, and man. That's fucking good. That's how I'm seeing a residual, and right now I believe that that's basically what artists need to do. I know a lot of people are bent on like trying to go viral. And yeah, all that. yeah, they try to bank on like just that one you song, build well. or that one video, and that's yeah, not. Yeah, like you have to build a fan base, and that's why yeah. me personally, like, like let's say for instance your outlet, you guys have a certain amount of people that listen to you, even though it, it might not be super huge. To me, mm -hmm. every outlet is important. You mm -hmm. feel what I'm saying? Like. Yeah. The, the people that got five followers are just as important as the people who got thousands of followers mm -hmm. because they might be five people or a thousand people exactly. that don't listen to you. Yeah. They're, they're going to take, somebody's going to take away from it. Somebody's going to go hit a link. Somebody's going to watch a video. Somebody's going to leave a comment. Someone's going to buy a t-shirt. Yeah. So everything counts to me. You feel what I'm saying? Yep. And that, that's what, um, where I'm at in my, in my, in my career is wanting to become a legitimate artist and actually making residuals from what yeah, I'm full doing time. You want to do it full time to to progress. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So. Not, but that that's how it's supposed to be. You want to be if you're going to be an artist, you want to be a full time artist. But you also what people don't get is like if you have one video or one song and that's literally your entire catalog, what do you go from there? You everybody exactly. that's into it is just going to give up on you because they're like, oh, this is it. Oh, that's all he's known for. You're a one hit wonder. Like you don't want that. Like you want to be on all platforms. You want to get as many as much love from whatever platform you can possibly put it on and that i mean it all it all adds up you know what i'm saying like it all adds up no oh, and you got to think like for years i didn't really know the plan right like so many years i feel like i wasted it like i had good opportunities like when i was with gorilla black probably people don't know him now but he was a, like a, a semi-big artist <laughs> i know gorilla black <laughs> and um you know, I, I was a part of his camp when he told a gold record. So I traveled around the country with him. I met DJs. I met just so many people. But I never, I didn't understand yet the type of position I was in. Mm, and you and, didn't capitalize the way you should have. And I didn't capitalize off of it, exactly. And then when I went and I linked up with Glass Malone, and I was with him for like another five years, I learned more how to, like, the, the thing I got, okay, what I walked away with the Gorilla Black scenario was is I was introduced to people in the industry and I I, I understood what relationships were, right? Mm -hmm. And then when I went with, with Glasses Malone, I learned how to sharpen my craft, meaning they taught me how to make radio records. They taught me how to pick beats. They taught me how to... You know, a lot of people, yeah. they don't understand, like, the craft of rapping itself isn't necessarily about big giant words and just barring out, yeah. of the, out of the world it's like you have the you have the bar enough and cadence enough on the beat mm -hmm. just to where it's right you did what yeah. i'm saying and it's got to be it's, it's got to it's at the end of the yeah. day it's also got to be musically sound like a lot of people don't get exactly. like you, you can know a million words and string together all oh, lyrical serial lyrical lyrical but if it doesn't sound good on someone's ears they don't care what any of those words mean yeah you know what so, i'm saying 
it doesn't work. That's what I learned with them, you know, just craft solid music. So, you know, now the I mean, you got the what formula. I learned from them are the projects. Yeah. Yeah, you got the formula. Like your your project, like even though I gave that one song, I was like it's a little sleepy. I didn't say it was bad because if it was a trash song, we would have been like, oh, garbage can, garbage can. But it wasn't. You know, it was just. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? If it sounds good, it's like, yo, this is fire. Like, you got a bunch of fires, and you got a fire truck. Like, you, you, the, it sounds the good. Fire like, you know what you're deal. doing. I know it sounds stupid. <laughs> yeah, but the fire, no, we I don't get, give I out get, fire trucks easily. <laughs> fire, fire trucks and diamonds are big deals. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, man, just, you know, that, that, that's, that's what I, I think would be dope if people, when people listen to this interview, that they could just understand that yeah. as an artist, you don't have to go viral to make it you just have to steadily build your fan base you just gotta work build your database mm-hmm. and, and and figure out how to convert your convert you know your followers to customers basically you yeah know what I'm yeah you gotta have a product and then you gotta know how to push it the right way and that's it man so, no nah, that's yeah. dope though now nah, man dude that's dope man so anything else besides that like you got anything you want to plug in we're not going to keep you for too long because you know we like to keep it nice and sweet but you want to plug anything anything coming up plug the project your website all that good stuff um right now anybody that's looking to purchase american doughboy they could just reach out to me my my main operation of business is my instagram account um and i do that because a lot of people ask but i don't have a website and my Mm -hmm. you know like the reason why i haven't created a website for the products is because i feel like it's a little more personal when they deal with me directly on Mm -hmm. my ig because i'm really talking to them yeah so we chopping it up and um I feel like uh, it just gives me a more a more uh, direct connection to the consumer, mm-hmm. and we popping it up, and I'm really getting to know them. So I just prefer to sell my merch uh, off of my uh, Instagram account, opposed to like um, websites. I just I, I know I know that eventually I'll need to get one, but yeah. like current day, like for my core, like I feel like I just need to have that connection with them. You know what I'm yeah, saying? yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, um, like right now you want to get to that point where it's automated and it's a big thing. Like it's like just a machine. But right now with that personal thing, if you think about it, you could sell a hundred of those hoodies by hand in person. That's a hundred people that are that. That's how you get instant like long life fans. You know what I'm saying? Like that's how you no, get someone um, to really commit. We've already sold 200 copies of Cutter Hate Dope Boy 2 and we're selling them at $10. So you could do the math on that. Mm. Um, part one, we sold... Well, now we're over um, 300 copies, but when we first released it, we did like 300 copies in a month, and they were at like $10 a piece. That's dope. We've already sold about like 700 copies now, though. That's dope. Um, you know what I mean? And that's straight cash, too. So, yeah. we, you know, it's just about figuring out how to, how, to, how to go around all this viral shit because the, the, the centrals of the artists are still the music and and the, and the merch and mm-hmm. a, and a lot of people are getting away from that because of the streaming yeah. but if you build the relationship like the way I, i've done with my base they're gonna want to buy that you know it's a collector's item type of thing for the people so they want that physical copy you dig me or they want to yeah. get that that t-shirt directly from you so yeah yeah um that's all i'm really about right now is just really building that core fan base every time like you know every for every project I release, I want to know, okay, we released this, we did 700 um, copies, you know, this next time we're going to do 2,000. Mm. And it's just straight cash, and, and we're just reinventing the money. I mean, reinvesting the money. Yeah, back into Everything the music. I make <laughs> into the music so we can more quality videos, stuff like that. I, I, I definitely encourage people to go check out my videos because I just got a catalog of shit on YouTube. Yeah, you got some well. good visuals. I, I checked through them. You got some good. Yeah. Yeah, what's that YouTube? And, uh, is everything at uh, A-N-N-I-M-E-A-N-Z? Is everything at any means? Yeah, correct. Every, everything everything on my social media is A-N-N-I-M-E-A-N-Z and it's pronounced any means because I know... Uh, By any means of, necessary. <laughs> exactly. I know a lot of people, they get the pronunciation wrong, but it's any means. And um, you can find me on all the social sites right there and... Uh, I just got distribution with Sony Orchard, so hey, dope. Um, swag. The the Dope Boy Two Step Record is is live on Spotify right now, so you can go check that out. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm pro- what I'm gonna do is I, I'm I'm trying to get on this tour with Jabba Low. and um, if I get on that tour, I think we're gonna be doing New Mexico, Arizona, Las Vegas, places that I've already been, but I'm gonna go with them, so it's like a bigger crowd. Mm-hmm. And um. You know, we're going to tour that, and then I'm going to show back up 
probably about the end of the year for a new project. But I really want to let this one breathe because, like I said, I did fifth, I, I did five of them in fifteen months, so yeah, I feel yeah. like I just kind of need to collect my thoughts. You know what I'm saying? That's dope, man. Yo, well, let us know when that new one's dropping, and if you ever do catch a tour where you come out to New York, man, yo, we'll get the squad out. We'll come, we'll come show love. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, most definitely, you guys could expect me. I, we'll keep in contact, and I'll definitely be in New York before the end of the year. I will be out there. So. All right, dope, man. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely hit, hit us up, man. You got us on our Instagram. I know you work from Instagram mostly. So, dude, feel free. You know the deal. Like, <laughs> we'll come out. I'm trying to get a hoodie. So, <laughs> yeah, I was, about to, I was about to say, yeah, like, hey, yeah, I'll definitely. Well, I was going to yeah, say, you yeah, got yeah. 3X? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I got, I got, I got yeah, whatever you need, man. Grown man, grown man yeah. size. <laughs> All right, bro. Good luck, man. Yo, well, let's, no doubt, let's definitely man. keep in contact, and I appreciate the exposure and all that. All right, time. yeah, no doubt, no man, problem, for man. sure. So appreciate I'm gonna, love. I'll let you know all you're right. gonna get the tag when everything's posted. But yo, thanks again, man. We really appreciate it. All right, then, peace. Peace. All right. And that's the end of the glorious accolade of episode ten of the Not Your Man's podcast. Do not forget, yeah, follow yeah, us. Yeah. Yeah, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 wins. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Not Your Mans, N O T Y A M A N Z. You can also do the Spotify quarterly playlist. It's Not Your Mans. It's all the fire stuff that came out. Pretty much all the reviews we do, any tracks that got firing up, they're thrown on this list so you don't have to go through a bunch of bullshit. Just know that most of the Froggy Fresh albums on there. And. Uh. <laughs> lastly it hurts it hurts <laughs> subscribe to the podcast give us five stars because you love us even if you are fatty as fathead give us five stars slander oh yeah fuck that kid but uh give us five stars and yeah man give well, us a nice little it. comment let us know if, if we're doing good if we're doing good for episode 10 let us know man but that's it man i'm signing us out i'm john d contradiction we got walko bitch and we got mm, and my man jp for the for the More special true. guest feature It's like cold heart, this side street say never love No misfire, all you smell is burnt tie Street block inspired, trying to put away the dog Yo, street vibe, man, let shit slide Cold heart, this side street say never love No misfire, all you smell is burnt tie Street block inspired, trying to put away the dog Go, go, party Mark's not smart, everybody got hard to your freedom to the shark. Yeah. No light when they did it in the dark to that four fifth bark, now they permanently park. Yeah. No love for these player hate marks, moving nickels in the park, I got my start. start. Shit I say in a poetic way, guy, they real motherfuckers screaming out that part. New fans